Hey, hey, what's up, boys? What's up? Oh, that's the hat you went with, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Curious. Every week. I heard some laughter. You've, you've seriously set precedent at this point. You can't not have a new hat. <laughs> Even if it's I'm, not good, it has to be a new hat. At this I'm point. eventually going to run out of hats, y'all. Last, last campaign went for years. <laughs> yes, <sure. laughs> I believe. Well, once you start getting those shipments in from that uh, P.O. box that we set up for Man, you. Man, don't even kid. That, that's like a dream. <laughs> uh, I thought I would start this week with uh, some, um, not necessarily like edits, but uh, things that, mm, that we may not have gotten correct in our last playthrough. <laughs> it's good uh -oh, for me to no, explain how I... We're just going to... We're going to retcon. No, I'm not going to retcon anything. It has nothing Did we to do with the story. Actually, oh, it, it just turns died. Out, turns yeah, out. it turns out Cole died. That sucks. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, make a new character. No, no, no. I just wanted to explain a couple of the rules because there were some rules questions last time. I went and read about some of the things we encountered. Just he to tells get a better me I actually framework. died, but doesn't tell me until the start of the session. So I just have to <laughs> <Yeah>. sit here. <laughs> right? <laughs> that would be so brutal. Gosh. Uh, um, okay. Play Jellic. Lucky you. So, oh, yes. Jellic becomes your new character. Excellent. I'm ready for you to do that accent the whole time. Nope. Uh, core rule book, page 271. We, we talked a little bit about um, a line of effect, which Alex was trying to shoot through a door, kind of, when he was not in front of it. And mm -hmm. I made the ruling that he couldn't do that. I went back and read, and it talks about how you have to have a line of effect of the target to be effective. And then if you read about what total cover it says, it says a creature can't make attack against a target that has total cover. So you go back to line of effect and it says, if a weapon, spell, ability, or item requires an attack roll and has a range measure defeat, it normally requires that you, whoever is using the ability, has a line of effect to the target to be effective, and in parentheses, subject to GM discretion, straight out of the core rule book. So, <laughs> I do believe I played that right. So you're like, so, you, so what you're saying is good job to me. Yeah, well, no, I'm just clarifying that if it comes up again... Everybody's got to know. But also, yeah, I'll take a little pat on the back. <laughs> uh, is literally everything subject to GM no. discretion? Yes. Mm -hmm. No. No, I'm pretty sure it says that in like one You could do whatever you want. Things uh, in the it's book. just true. It's you true. are in charge. That's true. I don't want to, I really don't want to deviate from what it's the book just says, like, though. The core rule here's book. A, here's a stringent set of rules, but also, like, it's also fuck it. Do what do we want. know? GM. <laughs> uh, That's what you other... just read to me. The other rule that we came across was we did grenade toss incorrect. So normally mm -hmm. how grenade toss is, is you target a, a, a corner or a cross between four squares against an AC five attack, which you still failed. You rolled in it. You rolled a nat natty one. Yeah. Um, um, and after the fail, instead of what we did, you roll one D eight, which we did. And you determine the misdirection of the throw. Once you determine the misdirection, however, you roll a one D four. And that determines how far away from the original target uh, point it okay. goes. So you would have still okay. thrown it in the room. It just, if you rolled a one, you would have thrown it like shorter and it was still would have hit people, but you rolled a two. So it should have technically gone like, a like not as far away from you and to the left. One other thing we missed on that is the, that this is mine, but the explosion radius was only five foot burst. Ah, in, on, in on the foundry, I saw 20 feet, but that's the, Thrown range increment. Ah, oh, so you shouldn't yeah. have got damaged at all. All right, good to well, know. Let's <laughs> now we know for future reference. I mean, twenty feet seemed big, but I know a big explosion. Yeah, I really didn't look up incendiary grenades. I didn't really expect somebody to just chuck one in a room and then miss. <laughs> yeah, I didn't uh, expect a nat one on my only no. grenade toss of the campaign. Not at all. Not at all. So, recap where we're at. Uh, you guys made your way into the garrison. You swiftly dealt with cadet after cadet after cadet that Alex chopped in half uh, in the barracks. And then you happened to use one of their bodies to open a locked door to retrieve some supplies. After exposure to some Aslanti propaganda and a rune-activated uh, space chef, you guys dragged another body in front of the command center where the senior cadets lured several crew members into the room to be blinded by light projection and nearly killed again. Uh, after the fight, you met Madeline and eight colonists in the brig. You set off an electricity trap. I'm not going to name names. Uh, and you <laughs> came face to face with Master at Arms Oloraja, who was prepared to fight. After a lengthy battle with excellent cover and an unconscious co, Oloraja goes down. Lisk tried the always useful 1111 code. <laughs> uh, Twick poorly tossed a grenade, though not as poor as we thought. <laughs> co stepped on a pressure plate. I guess I did say it. Whoops. Yeah. 
You said you weren't going to name, gonna name names. <laughs> Here we are. Hey, he didn't say the pressure plate and the electricity trap were related. I, no, no one I'm said true. that. No one said that. <laughs> no way. Uh, and Luna made a bullet silhouette out of Olaraja, which was very That's fun. True. Very yeah. nice decoration on the wall. Also, nice. we learned that tacos <laughs> are universal. Yes. Taco yeah. is a taco is a taco, regardless of the language. True. So that is where we are. Let me take us back to uh, our, our actual location here in Madeline at the Garrison. Uh, all right, we should be here. Can everybody see the screen? Yeah. Everybody I'm good. Googling cicadas. Oh my yeah, gosh, yeah. of course you are. Are you, you looking are. at cicadas.ucon.edu? <laughs> no. That's where I'm at. Uh, <laughs> gosh. Uh, okay, so we are back in the garrison. Alex, when you come up with cicadas, whatever you're going to tell us about, just interrupt me. <laughs> we are nah, back okay. in the garrison. We can just go. You have killed Olaraja here in the corner, um, and we are Ooh, currently ladies. right here. So, I'm at 1 like HP. Go? Yeah, you're you're 1 HP. Check his body. <laughs> okay, you'd like to check his body first and foremost. Leave Alex yes. on the ground. 1 HP. No. Let's check the body. You're right. You're right, Co. You know, I thought about uh, at one HP. I thought about <laughs> giving you an old uh, good get go get him. Uh, good job there, but uh, I thought you had it under control. I'm not certain, but I feel as if I would not have gone down <laughs> were that the case. My I words are powerful. <laughs> You may have just gotten jolting surged again. Who knows, really? I mean, no, no I one knows. Really, he would have been totally fine. <laughs> um, what we got? Uh, so on this body, you find a couple things. You find a... Where's that? Oh, uh, casual station wear. A, <gasps> oh, I know. Insane. A <laughs> static arc pistol with two batteries, 20 charges each, and a tactical dueling sword. Oh, oh what? what? Yes. Very tactical. A tactical dueling sword. One what thing was to note: pistol. Sorry, uh, it is a static arc pistol. Arc pistol. Uh, also, and I don't honestly know. I need to look this up. I did not. But Olaraja also has augmentations. I don't know if you can just rip them out of a person. <laughs> I mean, maybe somebody can. should. That's look, a good question. <laughs> maybe somebody should look that up while I'm talking. But um, um, is that like a uh, medicine check? Or something? Maybe. Oh, yeah. That um, would make sense. The augmentation that Olaraja has are standard dark vision capacitors and a Ooh. standard data jack. Uh, static arc pistol, tactical dueling sword. You said something else too. Uh, two batteries with twenty charges. Casual and the station casual wear. station wear. The yes. most important. Casual, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> most important thing of all of it. <sighs> ah, here you go. Because the augmentations are coded to your body, it's not possible to resell an old augmentation, nor can you implant one into a different person. Okay. Wah, wah. It is very Cybernetics strange. Custom made for individuals. Very strange that the AP is like, let me list this under gear. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, but it should have its own little section called augmentations. Yeah. Hmm. Why is the dueling sword not an operative weapon? Doesn't that feel like it should be an operative <laughs> weapon? Feels like it should be. Yeah. It does yeah. feel like it. It's not. Is it because it's two handed? It's because you could probably use it two handed if you want. Nope. That's one handed. Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. I got nothing. Yep, nope, it's just because fuck operatives. Who likes them? <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're already good at everything. So. Yeah. True, true. Um, also, near this body, you also see that the computer that Olaraja was using is still logged in. Uh, oh, there is handy. There is a door in this room as well, which you can access. And if you remember, next door is the brig where you are to release some people. Yeah, I'd like to roll some perception on this door. <laughs> Someone needs to teach this man about operational security. <laughs> Uh, yeah, make me a perception check. Oh, that's a natural two for an 11. Uh, you don't hear anything. You don't think there's anything attached to the door. Oh, oh. You open it. Ah, oh, it's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. <laughs> Shucks. <laughs> Has he got any meds in his cabinet? and got any serums of healing in there? There's nothing in there. It's just uh, a toilet yeah. and a washroom. Useless. No, we, we found a z literally zero serums of healing this campaign. <laughs> you know, they make we got that bug. They make the, the <laughs> toilet so big. Like, yeah. <laughs> so big. Like, it's like nearly wide. a five foot long toilet. <laughs> yeah. It's really important that you have room to sit. 
just really get on there. <laughs> Turns out Olorajo is a big dude. He's big. A big boy. En- enormous. He's a big boy. <laughs> uh, what's on this computer? Okay, so you uh, can get on the computer. Like I said, he's already logged in. He didn't get a chance to log out before. He didn't, uh, he... Windows L? Mm-hmm. No, he did mm-hmm. not. Mm-hmm. Uh, sadly, uh, computers have lost that capability in the future. <laughs> and there's uh, <laughs> at least four clicks to log out of any device. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, all, the only people who would be able to read this because it's in pure Islanti is everyone except for Ko. Because mm-hmm. the Ko doesn't only read Islanti. People. The only people. Everyone but... Yeah, only people. Uh, so you would see a, a, like a, a bunch of information, and as you're like opening and closing some documents and logs and communications reports, you're seeing a lot of things back and forth between him and his superiors. It doesn't have a lot of uh, names on the superiors, but it does show that he was communicating with at least one person you can see the name of, which is Lieutenant Sharu. One of the first things you read about is that the currently logged on identity to the computer is Master at Arms Olaraja, who is a member of the Imperial Fleet. He is currently working on a temporary basis for this Lieutenant Sharu, uh, a member of Sir. the yeah, mm. Lieutenant Sharu, yeah, yeah, a member of the Aeon Guard. Uh, and if you'd like to, you can give me a culture check here to see if you remember anything about either of those two. <clears throat> oh yeah, natural, natural one. one. Natural no one idea. of the night. You think you think they're related to the Islanti somehow? Mm-hmm. That checks out. Not certain. This Much better. Yeah, there it is. Jay, Let's get a 23, Luna at a 25. You Where's would both D6? know... That it should be ooh, higher where than Where is that. your D6? Uh, you would both know that these uh, are two branches of the Aslanti Star Empire's military. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Nope. They're cadets. Uh, you would also see a report that says that the Atl- the Aslanti came to the planet because of a crashed probe that was relaying the location of an ancient Aeon Stone technology. And Islanti on one of the logs, whose name is Zolon Ulivestra, ordered Olaraja's vessel, the Barazad, to investigate, which was to come to Nakondas and find this probe that landed on the planet. The reports also refer to this Zolon Ulivestra in many places as a Sardat, which, again, you want to make another culture check? You already made one, so I'll tell this to you, but um, you would know that this is some sort of noble title in... If it works now. Islanti culture. No, doesn't. Doesn't work now for some reason. Okay. Okay. Um, also, the Barazad. It is an Imperial fleet vessel that happened to be transporting Lieutenant uh, Saru and the Aeon Guard cadets under her watch. It is currently off mapping the rest of the system and will return to resupply. You can actually see some of those logs, the communications back and forth between down here at the communication center and the ship up above. You also find some information that the Aslanti were surprised to find a small packed world's colony already on the Condus. They expected the planet to be unoccupied. It is out in the vast after all. It's not that anyone would come out here. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, And Lieutenant Sharu commandeered the expedition and she and her cadets subdued the colony and established the the presence in Madeline's Landing. Um, further reading, you would find that this Sardat uh, Zolovan Ulvestra, or Zolan Ulvestra, sorry, he believes the strange readings are from a lost starship called the Royal Venture. This is the personal vessel of a pre gap Aslanti noble. And the Royal Venture, in this case, carried an experimental techno magical device called a rune drive. This rune drive would allow interstellar flight without the use of drift technology, which you guys don't even need to roll this, but you would know that in Starfinder Universe, in the history we're currently at, the gap ended. No one knows anything pre about anything that happened during the gap, and once the gap was over, no one could really travel faster than the speed of light until the Triune showed up, which is a conglomeration of three uh, intelligent gods, or, or clockwork gods. And they invented drift travel for people to be able to traverse the known universe. So this would go above and beyond that, and they would be able to use it outside of the use of drift technology, which is pretty insane. Gods invented drift travel? It wasn't like a scientific discovery? Well, they created it. So three, these three gods, there's the the clockwork god, the AI god, and the... I don't remember the third one, actually. I also don't remember. But all of those gods came together to make Triune, which is a god that hides itself in the drift 
that no one can access unless they give you a specific location to fly to. And they are the ones who invented drift technology. So, okay. we know that this technomagical device called the Rune Drive would allow interstellar flight without going into the drift, and scans that you find on the computer that were conducted after the victory over Madeline's Landing revealed that these theories are in fact correct. That uh, there was a crashed starship, that the crashed starship did have a drive capable of potentially traveling uh, outside of the drift, but faster than the speed of light. Uh, and there's some logs back and forth about the investigation of this. One of those logs indicates that an android colonist had already entered this crash site and had already procured this rune drive. The android and the rune drive were then both picked up by a fast courier vessel called the Silver Needle and returned to the Aslanti Star Empire. One thing that is of note in that log, there is actually no destination. So. There's no log that shows where this silver needle ship went. Uh, you find two other things. Um, one, you find that the android, this person, this android they pulled from the ship, they did have some information about the rune drive that they shared with colonists, but these colonists who are now prisoners, they don't have a lot of additional info on the Royal Venture. They weren't... They didn't have enough time to discuss it with the android before they left and took her elsewhere. And Lieutenant Sharu has ordered that all of these co these colonists be killed. But the Master at Arms, Olaraja, has is seen or is noted here messaging back to Sharu that they want to arrange for public executions instead. And so in the meantime, they've been keeping the colonists in the brig. The very last thing you read is that there is a note from Lieutenant Sharu that she took a group of senior cadets in training for the Aeon Guard with her, headed to the Royal Ventures crash site to see whether she could recover any additional information from the ship. And Olaraja isn't sure, in this case, when to expect Lieutenant Shari to return. Mm. A lot of information. Yeah. So, just walking so yeah, back a little bit. A absolutely, ask away. So, Lieutenant Sharu. I mean, I guess it's not obvious but she's the the we'd heard about somebody like a female in correct. command correct person. um so the other the other names or the other name that we we're talking about zolan ulivestra who's that you don't know who that is you like i said before you know that he is a sardat he's he's mentioned that way in these logs several times but you only recognize that as some sort of noble title. And nothing indicates that he is here on Nakondas. Okay. So it, it was just his... He's like, hey, go get this thing for me. Right. Um, sweet. But the... So the log, the log is saying that this rune drive was actually recovered. Yes. The log says that the android oh, picked up the rune drive and brought it back to Madeline's Landing, at which point the Aslanti picked them up and took them elsewhere in the Silver Needle. Do we know who the android is? You don't? I mean, you're, you can... Yeah, best guess is it's the one android you're looking for. Yep. Mm -hmm. Androids aren't necessarily prevalent on Madeline's Landing or on Nakondas for that, you know, for what it's worth. Um, so you can assume nope. that it's probably Sedona 17. I thought... Uh, yeah. so I gave you guys a while, but then it's like, so, uh, what, what does this, what's it say? <laughs> that was like a, that was like a short rest worth of time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would um, like the short rest also. You can absolutely short rest. No problem. You've, you've, you've cleared out what you believe to be all of the troops that are in here. So you feel pretty safe short resting in the space you're in. Any other questions about the logs that you find? Like someone to relate to me everything that they found. Yeah. Yeah, we can In pass that information on. There's a lot of stuff. In that character. <laughs> stay again. I was about to be really excited that uh, we could go find this rune drive and maybe make a fortune, but um, it's like we're slightly too late. Yeah, I don't think I want to fight the entire Aslanti Empire for it. It seem, doesn't seem worthwhile. Hmm. Um, 
one thing also, if you would like to gain access uh, to the controls for the brig, I will need a computer's check for that one. That's on a secondary system. Uh, tell me, this man doesn't have access, huh? It's just there so that <laughs> people other than he can turn on and off brig controls. Mm. Oh. Is that computer's check? It is a computer's check, yes. Uh, do we know when... I'm okay at these. 17. Sharu left to literally the DC. Go investigate. <laughs> he did it. Uh, based on the logs, it looks like maybe less than twenty-four hours. Oh, okay. Oh. So probably, probably not. Probably not back immediately. You're not, then you're not familiar with the Aslanti's use of tracking time, and it, you like. The logs only show like a set of numbers, but based on the correspondence, it's one of the most recent items here. So it would make sense that it was probably pretty recent. You would guess somewhere within the last 24 hours. It could be a little bit longer. You're not certain. Hmm. Do, uh, and we know where the crash site is, right? We know about how far... You know approximately. Uh, if you remember when you were in the communications area, you saw a map with two green areas. One of them was Madeline's Landing, and the other one was an unknown area yeah. to the northwest. You can presume at this point that that's exactly where that crash site was. Okay. There's no coordinates in the in the stuff, just to make sure? There are no coordinates. So, let's go back to what we were talking about it a minute ago. Uh, mm -hmm. The computer's check you just made, which was a DC-17, was enough to unlock the door to the brig, at which point the gate opens. Um, you do see... Well, actually, you're not in the hallway at the moment, but people are starting to file out. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I need uh, you to sign we, we do. We do have a form. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see, one of the last people to file out is the gentleman who's towards the front, this guy right here. Um, and if you remember, that is a Madeline Keshi. Right. Keshi. Uh, and he will just say, um, uh, I do appreciate your uh, immediacy and handling this situation. If you could find me back at my module after clearing up here, we can discuss further options and what we can do. I mean, I really, I just need you to sign this. It'll take yes, like yes, five yes. seconds. Meet me back at the module. No, I will no, no, escort no, no. these I got the pen. colonists it's right out here. of here. I will just... see you in a minute. He walks away. He sprints, <laughs> he sprints away. <laughs> Some sort of a time game? I go to the, my partners here and I'm like, Wait, Madeline is a man. <laughs> yeah, we talked about this already, Ricky so um, I want to turn off the. Oh, what was it the, the field that's uh? Yeah, you want to turn off the suppression field, yeah, the yeah, static so suppression. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, yeah, make me a computer's check. Do you remember we had two people make computers check on this computer? Both of them did not roll high enough to do anything. So. My knife is still stuck in the top one. Oh. One of my <laughs> knives. Uh, nope. But now that you guys have had some time away, I'll let you make another computer's check, uh, Twick and Lisk, to reaccess. Here, why don't uh, we, um, we can turn this NCIS off so I can this. get back on my Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll both All right, I'll assist you first. Uh, computers, you can right? assist me. Computers. Here it comes. Okay, successful assist. All right, nice. Oh, that's a good one. And a 25. Okay, with 27 your 25, total. 27 total on the computer's check, you're able to turn off the projectors. You are also yeah. able to turn off the static field that is preventing you from communicating with the outside world and further beyond. So what resolution are the projectors? That's how you do it. Very, <laughs> very <laughs> low resolution. They basically have one giant pixel that's very bright. And it wow. shines directly in your eye. Yes. Disappointing. <laughs> what if it could shine directly in your eye a movie though? Mm. That would be pretty cool. That's a good that's a, that's a good Let's question. Get on it. <laughs> Just in one eye? Or in both eyes maybe, I don't know. Oh, you could do 3D <laughs> because you could control two ah, separately. 3D, yeah. 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 Good point. Yeah. So you are able to turn off everything, you're able to turn off the static. And actually, as you are all standing there kind of grouped up in this space, uh, you're turning off the the, the static um, modulator that's preventing you from hearing anything. Uh, on your on your 
personal comms units, which are still connect, which are now back to connected to your starship, the indefatigable. Mm. Uh, you do receive a what appears to be a summary, almost like a, a news segment that's trying to describe some things that are going on in the packed worlds. And this segment comes across, and you recognize it. It is something you're familiar with. It is what's known as the Pact Worlds Daily. Um, and it's a, a bit of information about what is going on. And would you like to click on this? You don't have to. Oh, yeah. Okay, you click on this. And you immediately hear, From the Digital Epic, I'm Fikel Tartaro. Oh, no. This <laughs> is the Pact Worlds Daily. Today, the disappearance of the crew of the starship Acreon and the autopilot arrival outside of Absalom Station have many questioning what happened during the recent mineral scouting mission to the vast, prompting two important questions. One, does a collective of miners who own the starship, known as the Hard Scrabble Collective, or the mining conglomerate that financed the trip, Astral Extractions, have ownership of the aptly named Drift Rock? And two, what became of the crew that found it? I spoke with my colleague, Troster's Constant, Proof 2, about the implications of transitive planar travel and the ever-changing landscape of the drift. Also, a recent report out of Abdar Corp indicates that Nakondis, a prospecting colony in the vast, has been overrun by an unknown occupying force. Currently, the stewards have indicated that they have no responding ships in the vicinity, and that the colony is going to half hold out on its own, bringing much criticism to the Peacekeeping Force's mission and Overwatch's ship distribution in the vast. I spoke with Anna Race, a former steward who worked in operations, about her experience with Bastion's management of resource, resources, and my colleague Chiron118 about the pros and cons of an independent peacekeeping force and the motivations behind their actions. It's fourth day of Desnus, AG317. Was that right off the top? <laughs> huh. And the news report ends. Nice. Well timed. <laughs> they, uh, it's kind of nice having a break from that. I'm honest. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, yeah. Um, I, think, I think Luna's at probably just between do, us doing stuff here starts recording like you know, the equivalent of her Instagram influencer videos <laughs> <laughs> about about the planet and stuff. Excellent. Um, and what we were able to do. Starts pushing okay. it. Your goal is, I assume, to get some of that information out. Yeah. Okay. And also, Excellent. also to become famous. Oh, of course. <laughs> I mean, of course. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. So I'm like linking it on that news report and stuff, and like trying to. Yeah, all you know, of this was just for the vine. Page views up. Yeah, <laughs> just for the vine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, <laughs> worth it. Oh man, I mean that's what she's thinking right now. Like that was on the news, so she's like, "Wait, I can get so much exposure here." Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so you've turned off the static. What would you like to do? Uh, the last thing you were told by Madeline Kessie was that you just needed to meet him at his space, at his module. Um. I want to go sleep. Yeah, we need to sleep out at some point. We also <laughs> need to grab all the stuff. And I just want, want to get the like signature the before he dies. And also get <laughs> oh, the signature, yeah. He's going to force us to do something to get the signature. If you would like for me to, I can tell you what was on the other guys, but it's basically the same thing that you have gotten from them in the past. Sure. Um, you remember there's a couple cadets. There's some senior cadets. The senior cadets have a tactical semi-auto pistol. They have a standard tack clash and a survival knife. So... Uh, Lisk should be able to get two additional survival knives yes. out of this trip. Um, four new tactical semi-auto pistols, four new standard tack lashes, plus you have what was on the cadets, which in this case is just a few of the uh, rifles that you pulled off of them the first time, um, which are the, what are they called? The Imperial Pacific. Pacification Rifles. Oh, mm. plus four more survival knives. Yeah. So you do, oh in, in fact, gosh, six new survival knives. This is the best day. This is the best day. I and officially many, have. Uh, can you drop it in chat? Just to fit in my nap. Fit in my I can nap. absolutely drop it in chat. Uh, don't forget to do your short rests that we did earlier, but got overwritten. Oh, yeah. Uh, six survival knives, four imperial pacification rifles. I'm just gonna uh, take all the ammo. Two tack. <laughs> 
attack lashes. I have. Uh, whoops, that's not everything, but that's pretty much all of it. Now. Um, you have all their armor if you wanted to pick up any of that. As well as the... What are those called? Oh, tactical semi-auto pistols. Oh. I'll put those in chat as well. There you go. Yeah, that's should good. be everything. Sweet. Um, and we Is got all wrong? the stuff out of that other room, right? You did. You picked up everything out of that room, okay. which should be on the, the same list that you had from last time. Does anyone want these semi-auto pistols? I don't. I could use like a little bit of ammo. Oh, you like, can't you want the sell them. Itself? But selling things in Starfinder sucks. Actually, that's a good question. Is there any ammo in them besides like what's in the clip? Uh yeah, it would just be a full clip of ammo, whatever's in it. They weren't carrying any additional batteries. Okay. Uh, Alex, I'll split them with you. Nine for you, nine for me. Yeah, the city is not bad. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure I have right now. Just... Uh, the cadets had 12 I'll long arm rounds each. Three. They'll take three. Yeah. Okay, if that's, so if that's... that's it, doable, I don't know. I mean, I don't see why not. It's, it's literally like a regular pistol, and you can totally get bullets out of a gun, right? I just want to have, you know. Oh, yeah, a you bit. can definitely take those bullets out. 100%. I don't use it as much as you, so. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm a little bit low, so I appreciate that. There was a, remind me what the other long arm that was in the other room. The one you picked up off of Olaraja? No, that was in the, like the armory. Oh, that was in the the armory, yeah. um, There should be a chat, maybe that's probably a while ago. Hold on, let me look here. That was called a... Uh, a pulse cast, a pulse caster oh, rifle, and two auto target rifles. Those are, those are analog. Yeah. Yes. All right, I do want the pulse caster. I think. Or automatic also. Yeah. You know, you I will put this back in me. chat so you have this. Whoop. <laughs> I copied more than I wanted. <laughs> uh, screenshot that best. You know. I have um, the stuff from the other time in the spreadsheet. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, so at some point we need to uh, figure out who took what so I can remove it from the spreadsheet. Now, remind me how we did the battery thing again. You change the ammo type to charges? Uh, yeah, you change the ammo type to charges. Um, let me pull up your sheet here real quick. Uh, if you go to your inventory under your... Do you have it in here? Yeah, pulse and caster rifle. Just hit reload. Um, are you, you're messing with the pulse caster rifle, right? Yeah. Um, do you have a battery equipped to it? No. I think you have to... You have to hit reload to equip it to it? Uh, I don't know, actually. Just hit reload, see what happens. I'm sure it won't. Oh, perfect, there you go. Oh yeah, I pulled it in. Okay. So now I should be able to... Sweet, okay. Very good. Good shot. Awesome. You need to reload that, though. <laughs> I have no idea. You can modify the battery oh, underneath I got the a, weapon. I have to do the, the, the battery. Reload the battery. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sweet, sweet. Okay. All right, back to where we were. What would you like to do? You've put, you've picked up everything out of here. Um, we can presume that you run over by the kitchen, grab some snacks before you go yep. back. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely some tacos. Yep. Some spaghetti um, for everyone. Oh yeah, that's actually um, some spaghetti. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know that I want spaghetti after that. No, but you have a food it's spaghetti. Heel. <laughs> yeah, it is. I want to go with tacos still. So. Um, yeah, and then we'll head back to. Uh, Madeline's module, right? I yeah. Guess. Uh, can we check in on the ship? Make sure everything's all fine with it. I mean, you can actually see from your data pad yeah, that the I mean. ship appears like nothing is messed with it. Okay. You probably hit it pretty well. I mean, it is a pretty dense jungle. Uh, but your door okay. still all looks sealed. The ship looks untouched. It's also it's currently good. sending out all of my uh, 
Instagram. Yes. So. <laughs> it's bouncing them out to the web. Uh, so you'd like to go to the uh, uh, administrator's house? Yeah. Okay. Let's take us over there. Activate. All right. You are back at the administrator's house. We're like a hospital wing here. <laughs> if only there was a hospital wing. I checked the traps. Um, I feel like you yeah, should go check. leave me like, with check. that other person that was like disabled and trying to recover. Go leave Ooh. me there. Oh, yeah, with uh, Corsica Ken? Oh, yeah. Corsica. yeah. Oh. Um, 16. You need some bugs. Door is not trapped. It is, however, locked. Oh. Um, I know. <laughs> it is, however, locked. <laughs> uh, you, the door unlocks and opens, and you hear Madeline say, oh, "Please, please, come in, come in." Um, I know, th- I know this trick. Um, I'm gonna do a perception check. <laughs> we have, we have disabled the pad that was in front of the Are door. Are you sure? One hundred percent. I'll fly over top of it. <laughs> Regardless. <laughs> I'm gonna jump it. All right. So, <laughs> as you walk slash fly slash jump. <laughs> <laughs> uh, into the space. You do see um, several familiar faces here. Um, let me pull the observer in so that he can see what you got. Oh, there we go. It's all, it's all my friends. I uh, wanna, I'd, I'd ask, like, do you have, like, Alexa or Google or something? How did you unlock that door from over there? Standard data pad. <laughs> uh, you see several familiar faces as you walk in. Jellic waves at you from a table. Uh, with Ibretta and Garaya at it, some sort of dark coffee-esque drink in his hand. A handgun sits next to Ibretta, and as you catch her eye, she winks. <laughs> Chatterbug and Kashik stand near an island, pointing at a map of what appears to be Nakondas. Areas have been circled in both red and black. A bandaged Corsica sits in a lounge chair, accompanied by Weldus and Ludvar, who are currently deep in discussion. A young lady you've never met stands in the kitchen, and Madeline Kessie sits at the table with five chairs and waves you over. Please, take a seat. Uh, Halona will provide you with uh, food or drinks, whatever you may require. Oh, now you have food. Where'd you get it? <laughs> uh, we, we pulled it from the kitchen inside of the barracks. Uh, that makes sense, because we came through here earlier and it was... Uh, it was quite, quite empty. Yes, they've depleted most of our supplies, which we're glad that you came. You've come bearing goods. It will resupply <laughs> most of the colony. Yeah, speaking of which, uh, listen, listen. Slide. No, I no, cannot no. thank you enough for what you've done here. I think you could thank Though, us exactly. Hear me, enough, out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Please, 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 please. I, I cannot thank you enough uh, from the bottom of our hearts what you've done here. Though many of our friends have been lost to the hands of the Islanti, I cannot imagine the suffering that would have ensued had you not shown up when you did. I believe I speak, in fact, I do speak for all of the resistance gathered here and all of the remaining colonists when I express our sincerest gratitude for your efforts on the Condus. Thank you. Now, though I know we can't provide much here to repay you, the data pad on the table contains the required documentation indicating that you have delivered the supplies to Madeline's Landing as contracted, along with the contract payment request for 4,000 credits. The paperwork is in order, and you should be able to submit the data to Abdar Corp for payment. Yeah. That's excellent. Is uh, I, I feel like Lisk is like the uh, self-appointed paperwork guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lisk yeah. just turns and tries to give Ko a high five. <laughs> I can't even lift my arm, really. <laughs> <laughs> You're so hurt. <laughs> That's um, fair. Um, Madeline, yeah, we'll continue. shoot the we'll shoot the paperwork over to the ship, I guess. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Yep, Probably you can go ahead and, tra- and transmit it right now. And actually, it's pretty quick. Abdar Corp confirms the transmit of ma- or transport of materials, uh, and they note the signature from Madeline Kessie, and they immediately transfer four thousand credits to the four of you. We did it. Each. No, four thousand total. It's for a shipment. Each. Madeline <laughs> continues. He says, uh, uh, "We will also offer what uh, little we can." Some of the resources you transported were to supplement our colony transport vehicles, including our hover tracks, since we will be rebuilding much of what was destroyed here by the Aislanti. We will not be in need of these supplies until the next delivery from Abdar Corp. They are yours to use as you will. 
The GM right. tells me that this means you can upgrade your starship to tier two. Okay. Oh, excellent. Uh -huh. Nice. As for Sedona 17, I will share with you what I know. And I hope you will do the same. The Aslanti are, from what we can tell, looking for an ancient techno-magical relic that was part of a ship that crashed here. And he sees you kind of nodding, and he says, You you seem to already know this. How? Yeah. Uh, there's quite uh, a bit of information on that computer. Oh, and yeah, the master also, at arms office. Here's your data pad. And I just toss it to him. Oh, his that we that we took <laughs> his data pad that we stole from. Yeah, I see, I see. You recovered some information from my data pad. I will not hold it against you. It was not understood that I would, in fact, be getting out of the brig alive. We're glad you are. I'm glad that you've recovered some of this information from the Master at Arms computer as well. Was uh, there any adi additional information about personnel that went to? The ship, this starship, whatever the name it is. Sounds like uh, Sedona 17 found whatever they were looking for, and so they picked her up. Yes, this is true. What you may not know is that Sedona recovered it and brought it back to Madeline's Landing after finding the ship during her reconnaissance of the crashed drone. We were studying it in a module on the outskirts of town in case there was any danger with the device when the Aslanti suddenly arrived. It was at that point that we realized the probe must have been of their own making. Sensing ill intent, Sedona made a last-ditch effort to contact the stewards before she was captured, along with the relic. I assume the transmission made it, considering that the four of you arrived. Oh, that's that's just the transmission we got. Yep. Yeah. At the start. Yeah, you would be able to confirm that was the transmission you got. Okay. Um... Excellent. Uh, so are you, in fact, stewards? Or are you just working for Abdar Corp? The latter. I'm yes. working for Abdar Corp. Okay, understood. We had a delivery. You, you know how it is. We were already coming here, and when they were like, oh, you gotta go there, we were like, well, you know. We're, we're in the, the neighborhood. neighborhood. Yes, we're in the neighborhood. Understood, yes. I suspect that at this point that Sedona 17 was taken back to the Aslanti Star Empire for further questioning. Though, I do not know where this is. Is this information you would have recovered from the computer inside of the Master at Arms office? Yeah, somewhere back in Aslant Star Empire. Nowhere specific, though. No coordinates. No. Hmm. That's disappointing. Be that yes, as it may, the commander in charge is the only one that still may be alive that possesses this information. I don't know exactly where she is. Uh, last we knew, she was headed to the crashed starship northwest of here. Can you confirm that? Yeah, that's what we'd heard. Excellent. Ah. Uh, knowing that, as a last request, I would ask that you go to the crash site to see if you can locate the commander and find out where Sedona 17 was taken. I don't know if you know her, but she means a lot to many of the people of this colony. Would you do this for us? I think we, uh... We might be on board for that. We're already here. We do sort of owe her a favor, but not really. But kind of. She gave her... She sold us the ship. It's, it's an alright ship. It's pretty good. Your starship? So Sedona really 17 was involved in that sail. That's right. That's incredible. We uh, did pay for it with, like, <laughs> Yeah, money. so we don't like... We, did. we don't like Super Oa. You know? Just, you know. But she did find it. That's something. It is something. Uh, hopefully um, you would assist her if that was the case. Yeah, there's always uh, a chance of finding some interesting material on this crash. Although it seems like the most valuable thing was already taken. Quite possibly. Though, none of the colonists have been to the starship other than Sedona 17 herself, so we do not know what other things may be there. Mm. I assume that is a yes, that you will be 
checking out this ship for us. I don't Is think that's the plan. a reward? I have liter literally given you everything I possibly can. We have to rebuild this colony after the Aeon Guard cadets destroyed it. All of the remaining resources we will need to have at hand. Still, still don't have any serums of healing to give out, huh? <laughs> Not a one. <laughs> it's funny you might ask that. There are, in fact, a few serums of healing in the supplies that you transported here. That's oh what I was God. wondering the whole time. I was like, <laughs> right? last time I was like, wait, what if we were just actually bringing serums <laughs> of healing to the... <laughs> Uh, they're not ours. They're Abdark Force. We can't uh, just take those. True. We can't just. Take yeah, he's them. not gonna sign for them if they're open. No. You can. Uh, I, I may provide you two serums of healing. <laughs> oh, that's well, that's incredible. It's, it's infinitely more than we have found so far. So that's mm -hmm. great. Excellent. Ah, uh, well, take these, uh, and please uh, take your rest, and make your way to the ship when you can. Uh, I will try to divert all of our resources here at the colony to rebuilding what we may have lost. Uh, do again appreciate your efforts here on uh, Madeline's Landing and in the Great Anacondas. Thank you, and may the Master of the First Vault bring you great success in your endeavors. And you as well. Yeah, yeah, you, you too. You too, buddy. And he will nod and lead you out. And at this point, I took one of those theorems. Somebody else can have one, or I can hang on to both. Either way. Uh, does Coast still have one? No, I have no. That's why he died. He should have one of those. Um, I'll make finger guns at Jellic on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jellic will like look at Ibretta to see if she's looking at him, and when she's not, he makes finger guns real quick and puts <laughs> his finger guns back down. <laughs> Um, so you are out of the administrator's house. You have been given a task. Uh, you guys, did you? You didn't sleep overnight, did you? No, I mean, oh, yeah. it's still there. like late, 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 right? Yeah, it's very late. So you guys, if you remember, you went to the garrison pretty late, not like mm -hmm. midnight. You went there around like 10. You were in there for a couple hours. Yeah. You immediately went over to the administrator's house. Um, so we can presume by now it's probably like 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. It's up to you nice what you want to do. Nap. Yeah, okay. I think it's sleep time, and then we go to the we go do this thing we just agreed to. Okay. Oh yeah, we need a, I for, We should have asked. I forgot uh, if we could take one of the hover bikes to get there. Oh, oh um, yeah. Yeah, we can we can just wreck, wreck on that. He, he, if you asked Madeline that, he would say, oh, "Yes, sir, you can absolutely take." Uh, we have two hover trikes that you may take. One is hover hidden trikes. out in the woods that the Islanti nice. had not yet found. And we have the part for the other one, right? You do. You have the ignition, ignition components. Um, yeah. The other thing that we should mention to them is that their weapons are in the garrison, and also they should be on guard for the people coming back, potentially. Yeah, okay. and any, any But we don't any know when, when they're coming back. But Okay. Uh, you'll let them know that, and I think... You can probably tell that their plan is to go clean out the garrison anyways. Um, probably set up shop in there so that they can protect it. Because it is a good Incredible. place of refuge. A nice fortress if somebody tries to come back. Yeah, it's nice to have the Atlantis have supplied it for them, you know? Yeah. 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 A, nice fortress. a nice starship grade command center. <laughs> All right. um, so you're going to go back to Ibretta shop and just sleep for eight hours? Yeah. Recover some so. H-Pizzles? Oh, well, what are your probably go to the garrison be? and hang out. Very like, garrison, nice, sir. On the bed, yeah, dude. There's <laughs> in that kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Real Actually, beds. those are probably better beds than we've been sleeping in, right? Oh, yeah. you've been sleeping on sheets of tin, basically. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we're going there. Okay, so you go back to the garrison. You sleep in the beds. You get eight hours of sleep. In fact, you probably get twelve hours of sleep if you All really right, want just, it. I just, just get the oh, you feel just a lot better. Uh, well rested, Co. How many hit points are you gonna have when we start this day? Not uh, many. Four. <laughs> yeah, breathe right. Three hit points. Three hit points. Three hit points. Okay. And none I'll of you do guys my medicine check. HP. There you go. Okay. It's this is just a medicine check. This is not real healing for HP. Can I aid another on that? Do you have? If, if you're trained in medicine, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah damn medicine. right I am. I'm an operator. Okay. I'm trained in Good almost up, everything. Man. You can aid. So this is to aid. Wow. Barely. Oh, that is a twelve. You barely make it. You aid. So plus two. 
Mm. Well, and that is a twenty-one. So what does that fail. get? One point of healing? No, it gets nothing. Zero points of healing. Right, yeah. Twenty-five. With a with a regular med kit, you need a twenty-five. You're a doctor. <laughs> All I have is a regular <laughs> med kit. You're supposed to be good at this. I'm well, only have... really good at this at fourth level. Okay. Oh my uh, god. You, you, you have uh, serums of healing, so you can use those. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, you're going to do that before you go out? Pop at least one. Um, also... I guess. I'd like okay. one in reserve yeah. for whoever might okay. go yeah. down. Okay. And it's not Co. Um, if you... How many did I give you? Two. two. You gave us two. Uh, only two? Yeah. yeah. You only gave us two. That's correct. <sighs> That's, yeah. that's shameful, honestly. I get, he gives you four. He gives you four. <laughs> there's a lot in this manifest, but there's also a lot of people in town who have been injured, who are hurt. Sure, it will sure. take them a while to recover, so they also need serum healing. So you get four. We talk them up to some four. some bugs, dude. Whatever. <laughs> All right, well, I guess the other two of you can take one each. Honestly, I'd rather you have mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, okay. Good. I'd rather you be Never able to do what needs to happen. Twick. I'm gonna okay. love with you. If Lisk ever gets close, That's he's he's healing. gone, dude. He's gone. <laughs> like good luck, everyone else. All right. So what time would I you used like to go? One and I'm at seven hit points. Uh, I don't know. I feel like. What's your max? I'm gonna use another 18. one on. Wow. On Co. I mean, we do. We have I a lot have of money now. Reserve. So if we ever get somewhere, if we do, that yeah. sells these fucking yeah. things. I don't the, oh, I can't, yeah, never mind. the more fancy guards might have more stuff on them too. Uh, is there any way that if we go back to the administrator, he would have UPBs that he would trade us straight up credits for? Um, I don't think he'd actually have any additional UPBs. Ugh, okay. Um, but again, you have enough materials to upgrade your starship to tier two, so you can you can do that. Uh, that will offer you. Additional build points. Can we get a med bag? <gasps> Potentially. Oh, dude. That's I was gonna do nice. this. I was gonna do this off session because it takes a while to upgrade your starship. We we can do it off session. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do, do I, I think we probably credits? give Co a second serum and then yeah. I'll hang on to two. Yeah. And shoot him in who needs them when. I think that's fine. Yeah. We have money. We can buy more once we get yeah. somewhere where that's possible. Okay. Did what you say Alex? credits or did do I have like a weird number of credits for some reason? He gave us. I, I didn't think the only time we got credits, credits. this one time where we got a thousand each. Oh, we got a thousand each at one time. Okay. Well, That's just from the just four thousand right. we were just paid. That yeah. okay. That was Correct. it. Do okay. we wanna? Do we wanna just pool it all together? Or we are can? we gonna track it individually? I just figured we split oh, it up and it was even it. split already. Oh, so I just put. I should put if that I learned anything from Rise of the Rune Lords, I need to stretch every penny I get in my. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I put a thousand in mine. All right. I need to fix mine. I think it's um, right in the dose. So I don't think we're in a super hurry. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna heal again. You Unless said you're gonna be Anybody else one. feels differently. Yeah, you can do the second one. Ugh. Uh, that's actually two. Keeps on adding one, but. Oh, wow. Really. Two points of healing. You've really used those Mark yeah. One serums of healing well. Let me tell you. <laughs> Nine of eighteen HP. I'm half uh, health. Um like if we're sleeping in and get some brekkie in the kitchen. Yeah. Let's get okay. some more spaghetti. Take a, take a shower. Uh if we got like four hours, I'm gonna craft some darts. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's really up to you. You know that people went to the ship. You know that people went to the ship. Somewhere around 24 to maybe 48 hours ago. You don't know when they're coming back. We're, don't know so if we're they're not coming getting back. paid for this one. So this one's... Yeah. I, like, I want to go s soon, but, like, I don't want to rush out of here because... I, I ain't dying for, downtime. for a favor, dude. Yeah. Like, that, ain't, that ain't about to happen. Who's holding the last two serums in? Just, I am. Currently. I think Caleb, both of them. yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you'd like one of them, you can have one of them. But probably be better. You know, he's only going to heal one with it. <clears throat> so Luna's just 
fucking around on the guitar, kind of trying to finish that latest single. <laughs> I think now's While the time I eat the stuff. bug. Yeah. Okay. Oh mm-hmm. my gosh. You eat the bug. Yeah. I need you to roll me a D100. <laughs> oh. You've been waiting. Been oh, waiting. I have. He figured it, he figured it out. Wait, how do I roll a D100? Slash R D100. That, that last yeah. one. icon on the bottom, too. Oh, is it? Oh, oh it is. Look at that. 32. It's a good number. 32. Probably not too bad. Two points of healing. Wow. wow. Look at that. The bugs are great. Go back and get the bugs. <laughs> Wait. Go collect all the bugs. More, more yeah, bugs. Go, go, yeah, talk more. The, uh, go talk this, to the serum. This bug just healed me the same amount as a serum of healing Mark 1 did. I mean, that's <laughs> true. It's a new business model. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's start a bug farm, guys. Bug farm. I cannot yeah. believe that healed me for two points. What <laughs> you can heck? go get another bug and eat another one. Let's do this. <laughs> no. I want you to roll with <laughs> you. Okay. Are you We're sure? Good. Good. Like, how positive are you? I'm because uh, I'm ready. Bro, what? I'm serious. How, I'm serious. Let's, how let's many options it. are there on the D100? Oh I think... man, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think if Twix sees that, he actually vomits a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh! Hey, I'm not hiding it. You guys saw me contemplating it, staying there yeah. after I did the last serum. He did. He did believe. <laughs> That the serum didn't help too much, and I was just like, "Man, I wonder." Definitely believed. Cross gonna go. Gonna go start. You <laughs> join that uh, no medicine cult that's happening over in that other building. <laughs> <laughs> True. So what? What time would you like to head there? Uh, oh my gosh! You want to go there during the day, at night? That's the real question. So, so <laughs> we went to bed at, at two. Mm-hmm. Yep. We slept for eight hours. Yep. Yeah. It's ten a.m. Yep. I you could potentially for a sleep. For, you yeah. could potentially sleep for eight more hours if you wanted. We got. Go we got some food. Yep. Twick crafted. Luna yeah. worked on her song a little bit. Uh, Co healed up. Like Mid So it's like two two p.m. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say two three. Yeah. Wait, I don't. I don't see a reason to wait until night. I don't yeah. think yeah, Lisk no. doesn't have much to do. I think Lisk has honestly just been sleeping. Okay. Do you want to go during the day? All agreed? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, and you guys are going to take the trikes? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, okay. We want two, two trikes or one? We only have two. two. We have two, right? You have access to two. We'll take both in case we need to bring stuff back. Good sure. Idea. Okay. Uh, there's... Is there any chance there's a place we could uh, land the ship nearby the second location? Oh, yeah, it's no, likely. I mean, off. it's just a jungle. You could probably find a spot to land the ship if you wanted to do that instead. So we might, we could, we could do that if we wanted. We load the trike onto the ship. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Do an uh, orbital drop. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, we're loading the trike on the ship. Okay. We're taking the trike, the trike to the, the ship. ship. You take the trike on. to the ship. You load you it, it on the, the ship, ship like you a drop ship. ship. You get mm-hmm. in. We fly over there. You fly over there. You land. Let's go back to the. Let's look at uh, the Nakondis yeah. map here for a second. Um, let me activate this so we can all look at it. Uh, so if you remember, this is kind of what we were looking at earlier, uh, and the site you are headed to is right over here. Mm. Mm. So you are going to. Uh, it is not 44 feet. <laughs> you said you made all the updated? maps. You did say you made all the maps correct. You made them all correct. I did. I don't know what. Whatever. I'll figure it out next time. All right. So you fly over. You land somewhat close, or where do you want to land? How far away? Like audible distance. Like over in this little pocket. This is a nice little spot. Okay. You That's land good. up there. What do you guys think? Uh, that is about an hour's walk, or about a 10-minute hover trike ride. Excellent. All right. Yeah, it's okay. perfect. So you land out there and you take the hover trikes over to the crash site. Let me take us over there. Jungly. <gasps> Uh-oh. What's wrong? Dead person. There's a dead, There's a dead person. <laughs> oh. That doesn't look good. It looks like an enemy though, so like Yeah. That's like fine. some good, some bad, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> what killed our enemy? That's that's the worry. But an enemy Who is knows? dead, so yeah. 
Yeah, All right, so we it. have arrived Those engines. at the crash site. A large starship that appears to have crashed many, 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 many years ago in this clearing now resembles an overgrown hill. Only a few crumpled exhaust ports and a rear stabilizing fin, along with a couple of the engine ports, jut from the ground, indicating that the bulk of the vessel must now be underground. The visible portions of the ship are all heavily weathered and corroded, except for a single hatch between the exhaust ports and the fin. The hatch is currently open, and inside of the hatch gleams with the shine of polished metal. Clearly, uh, and the interior of the ship is in better shape than its weathered and overgrown exterior. One thing you do see immediately upon arriving is that there is a pool of blood on the ground and a dead Aeon Guard cadet laying next to one of the fins. Uh, can we tell how he died? Uh, yeah, you can uh, medicine check. Got you have to inspect the body? Yep, yep. Okay. There. Nice. There's where that nice roll for Co's healing went. There it is. <laughs> Finally. There was the medicine check. Could have been, right. been like five healing for you. That is nope. a 20. Could have been five healing with a 28? Yeah, well, if I got the bonus from... Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Alex, you should you should be angry about this. Yeah, I'm, I'm suing. <laughs> <laughs> um... So you start inspecting the body and you look and around the neck, the throat has basically been torn out. And you can you see that there are several small, incredibly sharp, jagged edges where it looks like something sharp cut and ripped the throat out. And as you're investigating the body, something slithers out from underneath the fin. Mm. And it's time for a little combat, boys. Time for a little combat. What is Ooh. that? Just... Excited. Don't worry, guys. I'll figure out what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Got a nine. All right. Let me pull the combat Ooh. tracker up on the observer. Excellent. Unidentified creature. Unidentified creature. Who knows what it is? Okay. Look at this. Uh, so, we are at the start of combat. This creature, however, gets a surprise round. Um. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. And the first, th first thing that it's going to do is it is going to spit what looks like a web on the ground in front of it. And let me show you where this web is going to go here, shall I? Shall I, shall I show you? Let's just show you where Man. this web ends up. Oh, wow. It's got a cone web Man. attack. You guys, <laughs> you guys just happened to walk in the right spot. Literally moved all of your tokens into the right spot. You hate to see yeah. it. Seriously. Yeah. You hate to see nice, it. Nice all right. little cone uh, Ignore shape. this. I'm going to move us forward until we get to the creature. Um, okay. So this cone check or this cone check. Is that what I just said? I said this cone <laughs> check. Yeah, a cone yeah. check. Uh... So what's going to happen is a web of viscous fluid hits the ground, hits you, hits the fin, and starts expanding into a sticky webbing. And I'm going to need... to see us. Oh, yeah. Extremely happy. I'm going to need a reflex save from everyone. <laughs> a big sticky mess. Kaboom! Here we go. Reflex saves. 22 from Twick. Oh, oh no! That's an 18. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. oh, look at those rolls. Got a nat 20. Got a 22 from Quick, Twick, uh, an 8 from Lisk. Yikes. A 21 from Ko, and an 18 from Luna. All right. Here we go, boys. Everybody but Lisk is going to take half damage. Oh, good. Lisk, yeah. you are also going to be dazed for oh, one no. round. Oh, Does that wow. just mean I don't get to play? Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Fun. Yikes. No round for you. Yikes. I'm just so many ones and 20s. It's insane. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of them. All right, the time. so you guys are going to take uh, five points, Lisk. Everyone else will take half. And this uh, is acid how's, damage. How's it round again? Oh, what is, what is that? It really rounds down, right? It rounds down. down. Yeah, it rounds down. What does acid damage mean other than just uh, damage? Uh, it's just damage, but... Uh, I guess I just do apply half. 
Yeah, if, if you, you can like, resist it. Yeah, if you something. resisted, you could resist. Okay. Or if it was like more detrimental to you, if you were like all mechanical or something, then it could be really bad. Okay, but it's not. It's just a damage type. It's just damage. So back to the top of the order, Twick. You are up. All right. Move what action, is this I'm thing? Have, yeah, I'm gonna have Kip scan it. Okay. Uh, um, life science, I guess. Uh, yes, life science. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, so thirty. It is a thirty. Okay. Um, this will actually get you quite a bit here. So what this is called is a synapse worm. <clears throat> um, and a synapse worm is a very, very scary creature. Uh, let me go ahead and rename him to his actual name. There we go. Um, mm. What would you like to know about this creature? Uh, weaknesses. Weaknesses. And what's about to happen to Lisk? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have any weaknesses. No it weaknesses. It is. Great. <laughs> It is mindless. Keep that okay, in mind. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, any particular resistances then? Uh, nothing that you can tell that it's not, it's resistant to, other than mind affecting effects. Sure. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Sure. All right. Special abilities, I suppose. Special abilities. It has a special ability called Synaptic Shock Web, <laughs> where yeah, once every one d four rounds, it can shoot out a fifteen foot cone that does acid damage, and people who don't save on the reflex are dazed for a round. Mm. All right. Well, uh, does he know if it killed this thing? If it killed the guy? Oh, yeah. Um, a... Actually, with that check, you would Question. definitely know. Uh, you can tell by its teeth. Uh, and let me actually show you what this bad boy looks like, because he's a scary, Please. scary man. Um, no, nothing's as scary as a Gaga thing, so don't worry about it. Oh. Ooh, I, that's pretty <clears throat> nasty, though. It is That's a ooey, wicked tongue. gooey, slimy, disgusting. Got has tons of teeth Got and a very dinner. strange tongue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very strange indeed. Okay. Okay. Well, spread right. out. Avoid the web. But you kind of already know that. Yeah. So. Thanks, <laughs> thanks Doc. Uh, uh, Lisk doesn't say that. He goes. Uh. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot it with a biohack immediately. Hopefully. Okay. Shoot it with a biohack. Um, I remember how to shoot my gun in this game. There we go. Uh-huh. Oh, natural 18 for a 24. And that is against KAC, correct? Correct. That is a hit. Roll me some All damage. Right. Good old three damage. Three points of damage. All right. And um, is there anything here that happens with this? He's taking a minus two to AC. Minus two to AC. My old go-to. <laughs> the old, old go-to. Excellent. All right. He is updated. Uh, doing anything That's else? It. Not nope. moving. Okay. No. Let's use my move action to scan. You're up. Am I up? Am I? Because <laughs> I don't think I am. He's lying oh, yeah. to you. You're he's not. Being Whoops. A, That's right. Mean. You're dazed. Whoops. Forgot about it. Go. You're up. <laughs> All right. Stepping out. We're gonna take a swing. Okay. Oof. Mm. Oof, that Man. Went right past the twenty there for a second. Yeah, it sure did. That uh, is a seven. That is a seven against KAC. That is a miss. Luna, what are we doing? All right, I'm gonna need y'all to kill this as fast as possible. Oh, nice. I'll uh, get him, it. Get him. Yep. And we'll attack it. With my, I guess my, I guess my plasma bolts are out. Uh, where's my? Get him! Roll. Get him! Get him! Breath. Man, Cat's breath. On. I can't that shoot in this game, man. Is a <laughs> seven against KAC? EAC? EAC. Plasma bolter. EAC. Minus two. Minus two. EAC minus two. That's right. I gotta read all the stats. Uh, that is a <laughs> miss, and we are back to the synapse worm. Oh. Uh, and seeing Ko right up in front, he is going to attempt to bite Ko. Let's see what happens here. This is a, oh boy, that is a 27 against KAC. Jush. Jush. I'm going to guess that's a hit. Nope. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You are going to take uh, 10 points of damage. What and you are worm? now grappled. That's what I was worried about. What is this worm? That tongue. 
you're almost out. Are you out? Are you out of uh, stamina? Almost. Not quite. Almost, so yeah. I'm at. I'm gonna remember to hit you this time with the thing. <laughs> Top of the order, Twick. Right. Right. I'm moving over here. Okay. On right. the way, I'm pulling out. Uh, hmm. Would my scan have told me whether or not this thing can take non-lethal damage? Um. Seriously, uh, yeah. doing non-lethal shit again. Okay. It's not <laughs> my fault. He gave me a full caster pistol. Uh, you realize how good that was, was given in, to in, me in, that I can use. Lawrence. It is. All right. It, it's not like immune to non-lethal. Okay. So cool. I pull out my pulse caster pistol in one hand, and I okay. start firing that at it. Okay. Who had that? Do the it. boss. I think one of the drones. The drones. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. I have the twenty-three against EAC. Twenty-three against EAC is a hit. 23 against EAC minus, minus two, two is a minus hit. Two. True. I'm good old two damage. Two damage. Look at that. I mean, just big numbers coming hey, out from you guys. I got to I only have so many darts left. <laughs> <laughs> Liz, you're up, buddy. What are we doing? All right. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to do trick attack things. Do it. Uh, so I'm going to trick attack him. I'm going to move here. OK. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Better. Uh, so I'm just, I think from where Liska's, he just kind of dives backwards, and as he dives backwards, he is super stealthy. Oof. Oof. 35, 35 stealth check. Beautiful. Does he do, like, some sort of, like, special, like, operative role? I think it's just, like, uh, what's that? The dude who always dives with the doves. It's, like, Chinese. Oh, uh... Woo, John Woo, something like that. John Woo, uh, yes. John Woo. He like dives backwards, and there's you know doves come out, okay. and he takes a shot, and then when he nice. lands, he like does a cool roll, so he's back on his feet. But let, let's see how this attack goes. So this is against his flat-footed KAC. Get a plus one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> did you? So put, that is did a you ten. Get him? I did not against do the plus one, so that's flat-footed. an eleven. Wait, what? 11. It's an eleven. I didn't do. Okay, uh, that is eleven. Know against a flat-footed KAC minus two. That's a hit. Oh, yeah. Love Roll some hear. damage. Uh, extra 1d4 from Trick Attack. Boom. Oh, nice. Seven. Seven. Right. One extra. There's some, there's, some, there's some numbers right there. Seven points of damage. All right. On to Ko. You are currently grappled. Yeah, so what are my options here? Uh, not much when you're grappled. So the condition of grappled is, I don't know if you read about it when we were paused there, but grappled. Mm -hmm. Uh, you cannot move. You cannot take two handed actions, although you are holding a one handed lightsaber. So keep that in mind. You take a negative two to AC, attack rolls, reflex saves, initiative checks, and deck space skill and ability checks. And you cannot make attacks of opportunity. Sure, sure, sure. So this synapse worm is up on your neck. And he is biting at your neck. He's like wrapped around you. He's tight. He's, he's a small. Can vein, I get? So. Can I get ungrappled? Um, to try and get out of the grapple. Of grapple, Starfinder. <laughs> uh, actions in combat. Uh, attempting to escape from a grapple or a pin is a standard action. Um. If this website will literally load at all, let's let's stop this. Let's go back. Uh, one of the Starfinder sites is down, I think. Oh, probably Dragon Slash. Yeah. Um, I, say that, I keep uh, on trying to look it up stuff, and it's not working. The internet's not working for you. <laughs> or at least it's not working from here. Yeah, maybe it's us. Um, I don't see. I can't. I cannot pull that up. I'll just hit him. You're just gonna hit him. Okay, just hit him. Somebody I take a negative off, one. Go. You take a negative two. Negative two. Negative two. But I get a plus one from get him. Plus one from get him. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna apply a negative one. Okay, that's fine. You don't have to enter literally every number, even though I read them out. Woo. That is a 17 plus your whatever the bonuses are because you didn't list them all out which is a 21 against kac minus two that's it strength mod, strength mod it's base attack bonus it's minus grappling it's plus get him 
Okay. If we want to say everything that's happened. <laughs> no, I don't want you to say everything that's happened. I just read uh, out the BAC. That's a hit. Roll some damage. Uh, do I do less damage also? Forget. Wait, just uh, a few I seconds ago. I don't believe so. In a grapple, no. I don't believe so. Um, I think you're it good. is. <sighs> Nine, nine points of damage. As long as that's okay. full damage, yeah. It is full damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just All right. so you're aware, the two things you can do when you're in a grapple to get out of it is you can try to grapple them back, take them over oh. the grapple, or you can use acrobatics to try to break free. Okay, I knew there was nope. acrobatics, but I didn't know what the DC was. I think it's like minus the four skill. The acrobatics? Can yet. I can't pull that up, yeah. You have a minus four acrobatic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's ten plus the grappler's KAC is what the DC you're trying to beat. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Not happening. Good luck, bud. We're just gonna All stay right. in his loving arms and wail on him. Hey, you it's can reverse okay. the you grapple. Him. Make him grapple. Yeah. Yeah. You hit him. It works. Luna, what are you doing? Um. So I'll. Don't forget the thing you said you were gonna yeah, do. Yeah, I'm gonna do that for sure. <laughs> I guess. There it is. But do I, do I move or do I re up get him? I'll just re up get him and then I'll inspire Ko. Ko, you can do it. Pull yourself together, man. <laughs> oh, then I'll give you seven stamina. Thank you. Nice. nice. Very, very nice. Seven's a lot. And we are on to. The Synapse Worm, whose ability happens to be off cooldown. Oh, cool. So he is going to shoot out another synaptic shock web. And I'm going to need a reflex save from Ko and Luna. And Ko, your reflex save right now, don't forget, is minus two. My good. Um, oh, well, okay. Yikes. That's a bad roll, seven. Yikes. It is oh, get him. It is get him though, so Oof. Oof. at least you get one round of that. Y'all. All right. So you are gonna take two d six acid damage. Two d six. You are also going to be dazed for one round. Here is the damage. Minimum damage. Oh, you good. guys are lucky. <laughs> nice. You guys are lucky. I rolled that as Co somehow. That's funny. Man, yeah, rolling... if you have somebody selected, it rolls as who you have selected. Rolling 2d6 yeah. at this level is so dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> very, yeah. very. So, you both take uh, two points of damage, acid damage, and you are both mm -hmm. dazed for one round. And Twick, we are on to you. All right, I'm just Can attacking you this save guy with my pistol. Your friend. Hopefully. Uh, full attack with the pistol. We'll get him. Here we go. That's uh, 11 against KAC, minus two. An 11 against KAC minus 2 or is EAC. in... Oh, EAC minus it's 2. A, yeah, both cast An 11 EAC. against EAC minus 2 is hit. Nice. There's two more damage. Two more damage. Look at these damage rolls. Yeah, I yeah, mean, man. Just get two every time. And here's the second incredible. attack. That's going to miss. Yeah. With six. That is a six against KAC minus two. That is a miss. And we are on to Lisk. All right. Murder man. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like flick my tail and kind of like throw some dust up to kind of cover this shot. So let's see how effective <laughs> that is. <laughs> Pretty effective. Pretty effective. That's a 26 on stealth. 26 and that is CR, uh, 20 plus CR. So that succeeds. Nice. Man, if this guy was CR six. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You guys him. would be in real trouble. Yeah, I, I would leave. Uh, so here's my pistol attack against flat-footed KC. I have a plus one from get him. Okay. Oof, that's that good. is a 21. 21. Oh, that's a hit. Roll me yeah, some damage. Yeah, it feels good. Nice. Uh, an extra 1d4. And it's oh my two God. damage. Oh. Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> two dude. points. That's how oh. we do it. Damn, Jeez. you guys in the game. rolls. <laughs> wow. We're so bad about damage rolls. Luckily, with that shot, you aim it just perfectly, and oh, you good. shoot it in the head while it is still attached oh. to Ko, and it dies. Thank goodness. Wow. And that is the anyone. end of combat, boys. This right. is the last time oh. we do a favor for anyone. No yeah, one said quick, anything I'll, about yeah. brainworms with zapping goo. Right. 
Yeah, that guy was kind of nasty looking. Let's see if we can find anything worthwhile on this ship. Um, well, well, I quick, didn't me, uh... even really want to come in the first place. There was no <laughs> reward. Also, I'm not feeling so great. Sedona is your friend. Sedona's like a... Acquaintance. Oh, no, 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 no. She's definitely Maybe. like a friend. Sedona's oh, no. like a used car salesman. He's what? Like, oh, no. <laughs> what do you, nice what I like... ship at auction. <laughs> yeah, I'd sell it to you for... Yeah, man, like, when I go get groceries, I don't go risk my life to save the cashier, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For what it's worth, if I would have not used the, like, um, single thing that gets, like, everybody has the same relationship with Sedona, literally everything else is, like, they're your best friend in life. Mm. I'm so, best friends with the person um, who found my ship for me. All right, fine, fine, fine. Lisk and um, had a brief fling. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Nice. An android she came, and the Ahsoki. She came to Luna's first concert and Aww. bought the CD. That is, no joke, one of the backgrounds. Is it? Uh-huh. It is <laughs> called... Um, where is it at? It's called... Number yeah, Icon. Sedona happens oh, to be okay. a fan of your type of performance or field yeah. of study. Oh. Yep. Maybe she likes genetics, guys. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. An android who likes genetics. I mean, could be. She's, she's into yeah, progressive. Good point. That one doesn't really. <laughs> progressive uh, Sproxen music. It's interesting. <laughs> uh, real quick before we move on, I'm going to check yeah. my motion detection badge, which I should have been doing earlier. Just oh, you know, yeah. Since we have that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, you got okay. any things going on? Let me see here. Just measure. Mm-hmm. That's not important, probably. Yeah, no, no. Um, <laughs> you see what appears to be three pings, all red. Could be also, hop cars. not that you we asked about it. We also see our but... three orange pings, right? In addition to the red pings, just making sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or... You still see okay. your yellow pings. You, okay. You've been constantly sure. seeing your yellow pings. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you weren't considering us three, <clears throat> the extra three. The reds. You're good. Okay. Um, this cadet also is carrying its standard gear, so if you wanted to pick up the ammunition off of that, you could as well. Well. That's 12 I mean, long arm rounds. You could also get another sure. survival knife. Yes! <laughs> Finally, the good shit. At what point does uh, ammo become heavy? <laughs> <laughs> Man, okay. How does the motion two detector rounds, thing right? work? So that's all I'm saying. You can like, attune it to a specific person. Oh, I see. Yes. Yellow. You can yeah. touch it to a person to specifically attune it to them. Mm, okay. Oh, I see, I see. This is how I should do it. Um, so yeah, as I previously mentioned, there is one opening on the ship next to one of the port. Uh, it's almost like an exhaust port. It's a small opening, but you can get through it if you want to. That appears to be the only okay. access into the ship. All right. Uh, I want to head up and check it for traps. Okay. Uh, the door's open. So as you walk up, uh, I need you to care. make a perception check. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, twenty-five. Okay. Twenty-five. Um, no traps. You don't, also don't hear anything. It's pretty okay. silent. Do we want to rest? Throwing it out there. <laughs> no we could take ten, right? right? I mean, whatever. Sure. Sure. Hang out for a minute while we look okay. around. Okay. So door. get seven stamina back and also be able to get healed by Luna again. That's true. Mm-hmm. True. Okay. It's important. You rest for ten minutes. Spend a resolve point. Gain your stamina back. I'm not gonna spend a resolve point. Okay. Then, yeah. I mean, Ko took a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. All right. Uh, do we get we get all of our resolve points when we long rest? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You get all your resolve points. Okay. So do you go in? I'm, yeah. I'm waiting for people to catch up first. Okay. Oh, I see the door now. Um, I am going to just transition this to darkness because global light is not working on this map. So outside will be dark, but inside will still be lit by starship lights. As I mentioned before, the lights are on inside. Ooh. So you are in a walkway. This sleek hall is well lit by gold trimmed sconces and the blinking lights of a wall mounted terminal near an exterior hatch to the west. The eastern end of the hall is crushed and collapsed, leaving only a doorway in an alcove to the southwest and another doorway in the center of the south wall. And you can see both of those on the map. 
You are uh, also next to this terminal, as previously mentioned, that is right here. Anything on the terminal? Uh, it depends on if you touch it. Uh, it feels like a trick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, there's nothing visible on it, though. Right now it's dark, but okay. there are lights around it, so you know it's powered on. All right. Perception check. Okay, make a perception check. I'm, I'm wary of traps now. Oh my god. Look at that. That's pretty good. Uh, definitely not trapped. Okay. I go tap it. Okay, you tap it. Up pops a face. It looks like a virtual face. And the face says, I am Eliok, the ship's virtual intelligence. I see you are not Aslanti. What are you doing on this ship? Uh, you know, just, uh, just the neighborhood. Just wanted to stop by and say, hey. Welcome to the neighborhood. Um, is there anybody else on the ship? You are not Aslanti. Why would I tell you this information? He starts to get a little uh, sassy. Uh, no, no reason. Can we, can we shut it down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. stabs it with a knife. This conversation okay. wasn't going anywhere, anyways. You stab it with a knife. Uh, seems like a mistake. Uh, the screen shatters. Damn right it does. <laughs> One less knife. <laughs> All right. Uh, are you just stabbing uh, your knives here and there, and then just leaving them where you stab <laughs> them? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So many. That's why I have so many. Nice. It's so good. It's All right. So I assume good. that they know we're here, so we'll just. Uh... Are either of these doors labeled? Um, neither of them have a label. Okay. You said this crash site is like super old, right? Uh, it's pre pre gap, as far as you're aware. Oh, really? And that that console lasted all this time. <laughs> yep. Shame. <laughs> no longer. Gosh. Yep. You shouldn't have been source, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure there'll be another opportunity to talk to Eliok. Mm, probably. Shall we? Yep. Let's. I ain't staying near the door anymore. I learned my lesson. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> bam. Bam. Bam, bam. You open the door. Inside, you see an engine room. This enormous, enormous engine room mm. did not fare well in the ship's crash. Huge turbines are knocked askew, wires hang loose, and red warning lights flare around the room. Most of the room is covered in a moss uh, and creeping vines. An area at the eastern end of the room contains two doors. The north door appears intact, while the east door is askew in its frame. What was once a door to the south is now nothing but charred slag, destroyed by an explosion that seems much more recent than the other damage to the room. Oh, okay. <laughs> and as you step missing? over next to the engines, a couple <laughs> creatures that was all you, Co. fall down Aww. from the sky. I don't like this. Aww. Give it a big and rolls. we are in combat, boys! Wow! Dang, we've rolled so many 20s. Well, Man. so two natural 20s on, on uh, oh no, that's just one natural 20 on the initiative. The other one was perception. Yep. So we got, let's go around the horn. Uh, Luna, what are you at? 12. Co? Eight. Uh, Twick? 19. And Lisk? 25. Freaking 25. Top of the Get order. Me. Well played. All right. Top of the order, Lisk, you are up. All These right, creatures let's... are currently, let me give you an example of what's going on right now. These creatures are currently, they're not set up correct, but they are currently 10 feet in the air. What are they like? They're like winged, oh, winged bat trees? What are these? Let me show you what they look like. They look a bit like this. Man, this planet sucks. Yes, it does. It's terrible. So this is like, it's like a... <laughs> It's like a tentacle with spikes and also wings and teeth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like an octopus tentacle that has spikes all along it. Yeah. What the heck? It's got and like a one big talon at the end. It's a creepy. Mohawk, that's good. I don't creepy, like creepy, any creepy of looking. That. What man? What is the standard speed in this freaking game? Is it thirty? Is uh, that yeah. right? Five. Isn't it? Twenty-five. Uh, Twenty-five is two. I believe it's thirty. Uh, that's what I thought. Okay. Just I thought you were fast. 20. Uh, is he in range from here, man? He's 10 feet in the air. Yeah, he might actually, not I have the calculator. Do you want me to calculate it for you? Uh, <laughs> if it's not too much trouble. Triangulate. There you go. You are 24 feet 24? from the unidentified yeah, creature. 
Incredible. That doesn't make. That That's a very wrong. nice macro. That I don't know. Very wrong. Correct. I'm 25 feet away 25? from it. How's it 25? I'm 10 feet up. It's. I don't know. It's because it's the only way I could mathematically do. The the difference is what you're seeing right now is the advancement of distance based on. Uh, um, Starfinder's calculation of squares for horizontal yeah, movement. Yeah, doing like five and then ten for the mm. second one. But I cannot, there's not like a formula that I could use to make it calculate that on the fly because the moment you're not mm. at a 45 degree angle from the creature, yeah. that number is off. So yeah. we're just calculating exact it's, distance. I mean, I guess it's uh, close enough, right? It's, it's yeah. closer than 30 within first range increment. So this Correct. just kind of slides along the wall all the way over to here. And let's see if he's very stealthy with that. He's pretty stealthy. That's oh, a 31. Very stealthy. Nice. very stealthy. That passes. Uh, Succeeds. So then, uh oh. I would have reloaded after the last fight, so I'm just going to click this real quick. Okay, no problem. Uh, and then, let's see. So this is against flat-footed KAC. I'm not get him, so I don't add anything. A 2. Oh. Natural 2. That's a natural eight. 2. He was on Woo. that 20, man. Yeah. Yikes, guys. Yikes. Uh, um, yeah, that's a miss. Yeah, okay. Uh, and it is the first unidentified creature's turn. Uh, and it is going to maybe do something a little, a little crazy here. Um, it is going to... You see it kind of... St like, it's it's floating in the air. It's going to lower itself down by about, ten f by, by about five feet. So basically a guarded step straight down. And then you see it's... Talons begin to electrify. Like and then the electricity just explodes and radiates out from it. Right. And I'm going to need a reflex save from Luna, Twick, and Co. Come on, baby. Oh, man, that sucks. Oh, dear. That's only a 14. All right, so we have 14 from Co. Or, sorry, 16 from Co., 14 from Luna, and 15 from Twick. You guys are in you, order. Yeah. Luckily, all succeeded at the oh, reflex yeah. save. Nice. Whoo, buddies. Uh, however, you are going to take um, uh, half this damage. So let me let me roll this for you. Um, it is going to be six points of damage halved. So three points of damage. That's right. Well, we can take those. We are on to Twick. All right, um, time to scan. We got a 30. You got a 30. This is a creature a known as an Electrovore. Check out a strange like name. V-O-R-E, like Vore. I, yeah, E-L, you can see it You can see it in the uh, combat tracker now. Ah, so I can. Electrovore. Mm. Um, it is a small magical a beast that is charged with electricity. What would you like to know? Ah, uh, weaknesses first. Um, no real weaknesses. It is immune Force, to electricity. Never. Yeah. Um, I will tell you its offensive ability again, since you asked last time. It has an offensive mm. ability called Electrical Discharge, where it can Oops. make an explosion of 10 feet of electricity, uh, and people who do not save are staggered. Oh, yikes. Oh. It also has another special ability. When it makes a critical hit, it can suck out resolve points. Whoa. Uh -huh. Whoa. And regain them. He doesn't actually, like, take them from you, I should say. But sure, it's like it's siphoning, so it's gaining yeah. resolve points, uh -huh. which it can okay. also use. Oh, interesting. Oh. Okay. So it doesn't actually take them from you. Okay. That's no, sorry. That's a lot it's less just scary. called yeah. siphon. I mean, it's like... Yeah, know. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um... Okay. Hmm. You said uh, immune to electricity, right? It is immune to electricity. And uh, yes. Well, I'm just gonna. Sh I'm just gonna shoot this one from here. Okay. Shoot with it. a needle. Nice. Twenty-five KAC. Twenty-five against KAC. That is a hit. Roll me some damage. Damage is six. Look at that. Oh, max damage, and that's the one right in front of you. Yep. Okay. Max damage. Six points a, of damage. Minus one to attack roll. Minus one to attack rolls. Okay. I'll remember to put that on there. Uh, Luna! Yeah, I can, you are I can up. do this. It might help. All right. I'll do a little step. And switch to my other gun. Because I don't want to shoot it with electricity. 
And I'll shoot the same one. Oh, see, that was actually really beneficial for this combat. It oh. was. Okay. <laughs> 10. That is a 10 against EAC or KAC. What were you shooting with? Let's see. Pass the gauge rifle. KAC. That is a miss. Yeah. On to the second Electrovore. It also is going to take a little flight action here. It's going to come right over yeah. to here. Five feet down. And it is going to <laughs> charge up and then electricity just <laughs> explodes everywhere. Come and I'm going to need another reflex save. No. Oh. oh, 14. Okay. Uh, is Lisk in that as well? Um, Lisk is in fact getting in on this action. That sucks. Uh, uh Yeah, that's not looking great. Alexander's not. Please. No! Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> what a thing! What is your problem with these reflex saves, so, man? Luna and Co, you made the save. Twick and Lisk, the two Yasokis, struggling against this electricity. You will take full damage, and you are staggered for one round. Oh, that sucks. Which, if you want to tell me, if you want me to tell you exactly what staggered does, I can. Uh, it will. Um, you can only take a single move action or a single standard action each round, but not both. Nor can you take a full action. You also no. can take swift actions, but you cannot take reactions. And we're on to Co. How much damage did we take? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, it was four damage. Aha. Uh -huh. Or half damage if you made the save. Thank you for the reminder. Should have let it go. Yep, shouldn't have even asked. Yeah, I don't know why you did. <laughs> honestly. Uh, okay. I'm gonna swing at the one that's injured in front of me here. Okay. Attack. Oof. Huge. Whew. Eight, man. Eight against KAC is a miss. Sorry, bud. Top of the order, Lisk. Uh, I'm gonna shoot the injured one. Okay, you shoot the injured one. Do it. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Gosh, guys. Ten. All right. Uh, on to the Electrovore's turn. Weirdly enough, same thing. Explosion, reflex save from everyone. Ah, sorry, everyone every except turn, for Lisk. Huh? Damn right. All right, come on, baby. Yes, thank you. Fifteen. All right. For Double Twick. Spare. You are staggered for a round. Everyone takes uh, half damage except for Twick from this roll, which is going to be eight points of damage. Eight. <sighs> ah, 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 ah. Proud, shall we? And we are on to Twick. You are staggered currently. Uh, yeah. Uh, How are you so doing, I'm gonna, buddy? I'm gonna You're tumble. Hurting. Alright. Which is try to move through threatened space without provoking. So that's a civil acrobatics check. Oh, that's You can not always guard good. and step. Yeah, that doesn't get me far enough away, yep. believe it or not. <clears throat> I mean, you so, only have one action you can do. Yep. He's, he's, five, he's five feet up. You're not going through his square, are you? Technically, no. no, he's flying above you. But I am going moving through a threatened area. So you are moving through a threatened oh. area. Oh, I thought you were. You but said you were going to move that through a threatened So he can make an attack of opportunity, but I'm getting out of here. Attack of Opportunity. All right, he is going to attempt to hit you with his tail. That is a natural one. Oh, God. Oh, there. Nice. That is a miss. All right, All right. I'm nice back roll. here now. Okay. <laughs> I'm back here. We're on to Luna. What are we doing? All right, I'm going to move. Uh, if I move here. Here, well, I gotta move. How do I not screw <laughs> Twick? Uh, Please don't. Uh, is that spaced out enough? Not really. Awful close, but not really. The AoE is just so big. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at least if I go there, they have to choose. Us or the other two? Yeah. Sure. All right, so I'll move there, and then I'll hit Twick with the inspiring. Oh, <clears throat> thank you. 
inspiration, nice. inspiring, inspiration thing. Nice. <laughs> Much appreciated. Uh, so seven stamina. Thank to you. you. On to the Electrovore's turn. This one, not going to move, just going to charge up his electricity coils on oh, his back okay, and explode. I mean, bad. And that will be a reflex save from Ko and Lisk. I hate oh, this no. game. Oh, what the no. fuck? Oh, uh, uh, reflex saves have been like one, two, oh, three, four. Man. Uh, that is a fail from both of you. Who knew this was where we were going to die? You will both take four points of electricity damage, and you are staggered for one round. All right. On to Co. Garden stuff to here. Okay. That's that's it, right? Yeah. I'm staggered. Mm -hmm. Staggered. Yeah. yeah. Valid point. You are staggered. Um, back to the top of the order. Lisk, what are we doing? I uh, shoot at the injured one. Shoot at the injured one. Let's do it. An oh, 18 on the die. Nice. 24 against KAC. That is a hit. Roll me some damage. Okay, here comes the one damage. <laughs> Three. Three. Not bad. Three. Three points of damage. All right. Excellent. 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 Okay. Uh, and we are on to... The Electrovore's turn. Um, he is going to actually not charge up this time. He's going to attempt to slap this man in front of him with his tail. A little tail slap. And this is a... Oh, boy. Sorry, bud. That's a 26 against KAC. Oh. Uh, here comes the damage. That is six points of bludgeoning damage against Ko. Twick, you're up. All right. I guess I'm taking... Well, I'm going to take two shots this one I can see, actually. Okay. Uh, so full attack time. Uh, it's a 15 against KAC. 15 against KAC is a hit. All right. Nice shot. There's six damage. Ooh, nice. Six damage. This is the one that's uh, directly in the middle of the room, right? Just make sure. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Got and it. Second six attack points of damage. Roll. Yeah, it's going to be a miss. That is seven. a seven. That is a miss. Nice try, though. A little double, uh, double shot a action. Minus one to attack rolls, though. Minus one to attack rolls. Okay, good to know, I guess. Oh. All right. Got it. Luna, what are we doing? Um, we'll apply. Get him. On this one. And I can see. Okay. Let's take this one out, trick. And, uh. With my Empire classification rifle. And I say shoot him because I'm actually gonna hit him this time. I believe. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, it's a 13. A 13 against. KAC. Uh, KAC. And he doesn't have a minus right now, right? From Twick? He doesn't have nope, a minus no. from you? Do That's going to be a own, miss. Get him bonus? Yeah, I put it on. Oh, that did? is okay. a miss. We're on to the other Electroverse turn. Uh, seeing that somebody has taken some damage, he's actually going to fly over next to his buddy here, five foot step. Oh, and no. he's going to hit Ko with his tail. Let's roll some big numbers here, shall we? Uh, oh. That is a 27 <laughs> against KAC. Yeah, damage roll. Of course. Of course. Yikes. Hey, here we go. Minimum damage. Minimum damage. Four points bludgeoning damage. That's minimum. The... Hey, we're on to Co. What are we doing? Uh, you know, we're supernovaing. Yeah. Sure. Here we go. Um, now they get to make their reflex saves. Apply damage. <laughs> okay. Now we supernova. Uh, we just do damage. Boom. Holy nice. crap. <clears throat> What's the DC again? It is 14. Uh, they both save. Um, their reflex is incredibly high. They are flying small creatures. Sometimes it doesn't help, though. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. That's all sometimes. I'm say. sometimes it doesn't <laughs> help. Uh, so they both save, so they take half damage. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Uh, half damage. All right. Got it on that guy. And half damage. Got it on that guy. All right. Back to the top of the order list. You are no longer staggered. Are either of them looking close? They are looking scary close. Great. Okay. Love to hear that. Uh, so I'm gonna... Do we know what's over here? Do I care? As far as we know, nothing's over there. It's just, just the okay. side. We can see that way. It's just, you know, uh, it's just well, slag. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. This is like a wall. Okay. I thought yeah, it was it's like essentially we a wall. See. Great. Yeah, no, it's it's a wall. Uh, so I'm just gonna sneak on over here while none of them are looking, and I'm gonna shoot. Oh, this one is got him, Tom. Mm-hmm. Yes. The left Can I see him from here? First. Is this thing an obstacle between me uh, and that? It's not. It's not. It'll um because it's in the air. You could still ah, see it. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, then I'll shoot that one. I'll shoot the one on the right. Okay. Uh, but first, let me see. Let's see how sneaky I just was. Natural. Yeah, that's what I needed. <laughs> that twenty, dude. <laughs> Oh, no, my every gosh. time. Very sneaky. Yeah, I merge with the shadows. Oh man! <laughs> but then I go to shoot. Yeah, I'm sure it'll go well. He spent so much time being sneaky. <laughs> it's a 13 on the die, 19 total against flat-footed KAC. I against feel good. flat-footed KAC, that is a hit. Yeah, you're Roll damn right. <laughs> it's an extra D4 from trick attack, so it's a total of seven. Nice. Seven points of damage. Missed very, trick attack. very nice. And we're on to the Electrovore's turn. Oh, it didn't die. Oh no, it didn't that die. So much damage. Oh, You're literally oh, getting no. killed. Yeah, very go. close. What? Um. So the first Electrovore, actually uh, sensing that it's near death, begins to fly towards the back of the ship near the engines, and it looks like it's trying to squirm through a hole. Uh, does Ko get an attack opportunity? Uh, actually, you would. You want to roll? Uh, no, nah, I don't think I'll roll. <laughs> okay. All right. Gosh. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Twenty-three. That is a hit. Roll some damage. Boom. Max oh, damage. My, oh, oh, my Max goodness. damage. My. Why? Why is this oh, happening now? Tasty. I don't know. Why? Why now? <laughs> Ten uh, damage. So, as this Electrovore is flying away, you literally slice it in half, <laughs> lengthwise. Your saber just like tailed ahead, just cuts it straight in half, and it is dead. Twick, what are you doing? I'm moving in here. Okay. <laughs> I'm shooting this boy. Shoot it. Am I Big damage. Oh, 17 against KAC. 17. Against KAC is a hit. Let's roll some damage. Here we go. Three. Good old. Three average. points. Damage. Violet. Very, nice. very nice. And we are on to oh, Luna. Man. man, when you said they were really close. Yeah. You were really <laughs> underselling really. that. <laughs> I'll run in here. They've probably got more than my max HP, it sounded like. <laughs> Sounds like. I mean, we just did 10 since then. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Do I, do I give Ko stamina or do I try to shoot it? That's the question. Hit the broad side of a barn. <laughs> um, <laughs> you have of your craft. Just shoot it. Very good. What you do? Um, shoot it. I will shoot it. I think shoot it. Let's go. Take a shot. Do it. All right. That's quote unquote scary close to death. <laughs> so, I never said to death. There we go, 19. He said, how are they looking? I said, they're looking scary close. Close okay. to what? They weren't close to Lisk. I wasn't even talking about Lisk. <laughs> scary close to being resolved, I guess I should have said. That was a 19 against KAC. That is a hit. Roll me some damage. Okay. For future reference, oh, nobody ever asks <laughs> how are they looking, yeah, looking Max for how damage. close they are to being resolved, whatever that means. Uh, yeah, I like to imagine Lisk looks at them and things like <laughs> their morale is really low. Yeah, I was look. I have another stat in here that tells Doing me bad. you could do something specific at some point, and I looked at that 
instead of the hit points. I apologize. Oh my gosh. <laughs> With that shot, you shoot it straight through the head, and its body crumples to the ground. It is dead. Ah. Dead. Yo, this we shit are sucks. Out well, of time. This planet kind of sucks. I'm about to leave. Uh, <laughs> uh, so is there, are there two less red blips on the thing? Yeah. Um, there are now three have. blips of oh. red. Sorry, oh, no, okay. two blips there of was... red. Oh. Two blips. There was three to begin with, wasn't there? Yeah. So we're maybe closer to another one probably now. Before something else. Uh, is it so? Does it look like there's something missing from this room? Like it actually does. So, engine? um, if you make me a, an engineering check. Oh, buddy! Oh, buddy! I got you. Yeah, I'm also curious about this. Uh, here. It comes. Oh my <laughs> oh, god! Well, there Not we go. Necessary. Twig Can't roll it on an 20. attack roll, but twenty nine total. Yeah, if you guys would roll great on attack rolls, that'd be nice. <laughs> I could stop feeling like this really was a good slaughter. at like, figuring things out. Yeah, I'm bad at fighting um, people. Yeah, true. That actually fits Twix character. Actually, I think not oh. hitting things, but <laughs> but like really trying to study things. Mm. Um, you do believe that this these two little posts here in the center on top of this platform are where the this supposed rune drive used to sit. It is a hemispherical mm. pedestal, four feet wide, three feet high in the center of the room, but its top is empty. There's only a few wires and there's some runic markings to indicate the importance of some device that once rested upon this pedestal. So you think that's definitely where the device sat in the ship. All right. As a reminder, you have one door out of this room and that door is, whoops, that door is right here. There's um, also a door up uh, here. There is a door up there. The door out of this room currently is askew in its frame. The door. Are you talking about the door we came in or the new no, door? The new door. New door. The Fuck door that. to the east. No, no, is no, no, no. In its we're frame. leaving. Yeah, leaving. no, we're probably gonna take a little, a little rusty rest. Mm -hmm. Are we just resting in so here? Oh, uh, we should probably. We, our ship. Okay. Oh, it's like an hour away. It's like a ten-minute drive. No, it was like 10 minutes. We oh, about yeah. To the no, let's, let's but go we were still like resting time. outside, so we can rest outside, I think. Yeah, whatever. Let's just rest somewhere. Not really worried. Yeah. You doing a 10 minute? Yeah, yes, we're, doing, we're doing an 11 minute. So I'm going to try mean, to heal myself up, too. Generally speaking, I, I feel like 10 minute rests, like, you're probably not at a threat. Um, if you want, what I can have you do is just kind of, on occasion, I'll have you make a perception check to see if you're at threat for doing a 10 minute rest. And then, depending on how good your roll is, We'll determine whether or not it's good enough to rest there. So let's just start with that. Perception check. Oh. I already rested. Whoopsies. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll let this one go for now. Okay. Wow, um, I just rolled shit. Oh. I want Lisk. <laughs> I want to even get Lisk. I got it. This medicine check. Oh, All right. Perception check. Lisk on the 24. You feel pretty safe in this room. Like you could take 10 minutes okay. to recover some H pizzles. Just kind of like hanging out at this ped empty pedestal and some stamina pizzles. Stop. Um, Blisk, you wanna you wanna help me patch up myself and maybe Luna? I don't know how Luna's Probably. feeling. No, I'm fine. Oh. Co needs help though. Well, oh, let's I, see. I can't do that. Oh, you already healed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks. So, uh, let's so see. Yeah, I already healed you today. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> see how it goes for me. Hey, with the plus two, that's success. I get a good, good old two hit points back. Woo! Luna, you want some? Want some of this healing? Uh, if it's less or equal than three, I well, guess. Well, it's gonna be either two or five. So. Uh. uh Who knows? Uh, or zero, here. I suppose. <laughs> Historically, it's that's close enough, right? You want to help me out again? Historically, Lisk? zero. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I did not help for once. <laughs> Aww. Uh, still got it, though. You got a 26. Yep, regular success. So two hit points back. Oh, you got the two. All right. All right, yep. That's fine. Natural one it on the medicine check. The... I feel yeah, like that I checks have... out for Lisk. Or six, I guess it is. He's good at medicine, actually. He only needs a three <laughs> yeah, he... to successfully help. He knows exactly <laughs> where to stab a man. <laughs> um, so as a reminder, uh... you do have this door up here. That is accessible. This door down here, 
The one closer to you to the east side of the engine room is currently askew in its frame. Looks like it would take a little bit of effort to get through it. There is a panel on the door. You feel like you could use um, engineering wise or you could, if you think you're a strongy boy, you could attempt to move the door from its current position um, within the frame. I'll try. I'll try engineering it. Okay. Yeah. Try an engineering check. I'll help. Okay. You'll assist. That's a 19 on the die. Yeah, you should have just rolled for it. Because it's about man. to be a two. Oh, my oh, God. Man. That's a 2-0. That's what I meant. <laughs> Natural 20. Um, you are able to get the door unstuck. And you Honestly, can... Cr- that check, I think Lisk installed this door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was supposed to be locked, but it is now unlocked. Um, that door is unstuck, and you can now open it. For what it's worth, it wasn't like somebody had said it that way. It looks like it was damaged, which sure. is why it was set askew. So you're not, you don't really feel like that puts you at necessary risk. Hmm. Sorry. Let's do it. Okay, do it. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go. No. Yeah, go get him, big do guy. Do it. Can't say anything in here. It's kind of hit points down still. Um, you only have one less total hit points than me right now. So. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. And a much better um, AC. There's this. What you're standing in right now is just a short corridor. Um, it looks like it has two doors: one to the north, one to the south. Uh, the end of it looks destroyed. Um, it's collapsed and appears impassable. Any more blips? Uh, no. You currently see Token. five blips on the radar. Uh, okay. So north is probably safer. Probably, it's a good point. Probably. Okay, you open the door to the north. Inside, what you see is um, what appears to be a lab. The room is entirely unlit. Oh uh, yeah. And it's dark Luna, in here. I'm trying to remember. Do you have? No. You don't have anything. any vision, do you? I don't have anything. Okay, I, so. Luna's blind. Um, yeah, you, really you would just in be looking into pure darkness. You you, you can kind the, of hear something. The light something. from the hallway bleeds in a little bit. Yeah, you can kind of hear something, but you're not certain what it is. Anybody else want to check it out? Um, yeah. Hang on. Oh! <laughs> um, and, uh, Lisk, as you step <laughs> over the door and Twit kind of steps, steps behind, um, you do see something in the corner. And if you want to, you can make me a. What's the What's the other check that Quip does? Not life science. Physical science. Physical science. Yeah, make me a physical science check. Uh, I'm, I'm have... actually not trained in that. I'm just gonna have Kip scan it. Yeah, both of you can see what's in there right now. What it is, whatever it is, it's not currently facing you. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we went through the back door. Kip gets a thirty to scan it. 30 to scan. Closes the um, door. Yeah, <laughs> instantly closes the door. Um, you nope. see what appears to be an Islanti cadet, but the armor looks significantly older. It looks mm. decayed. Um, and what you're looking at, you think, is the zombie remains of mm. an Islanti soldier. Zambies. Zambies. Okay. I want to do a quick... Uh perception check, see if I see anything useful in the room before we okay. shut this door. Okay. Uh, 18. An 18. You don't really see anything interest, of interest in there. You can't. It's it's kind of dark, but you can get somewhat of an angle. You can't see the corners to your southwest and your southeast. Sure. But most of the room appears to be... Um, they're, they're, like the, What you're getting out of this room is you think it might have been a lab, like for technomagical devices, for study. You see a lot of equipment but it looks old, outdated, or broken. Most of the computers in here look to be non-functioning. Uh, the lights are broken, the air circulation's turned off, um, and the room just generally has an unpleasant stench. All right. Well, oh, Zombo, nothing useful, maybe. So, okay. uh, Are those... Do we know if those would flash on the... Little, oh, I assume thing. they would, right? 
They do. I mean, you you can kind of assume it's a motion that they flash detector, on there. So probably uh, it is a motion detector. Oh, that's right. That's not right. a life it's science. Not, not, not a life detector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, check this. We check the store for traps. We check what? the traps. <laughs> we Alex, you got a problem with doors I and traps, been, bud? But yeah, go for it. Yeah, make me a perception check. Ah, uh, okay. I'm also doing it. Don't worry. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so we a have a 23 so from Ko and a 27 from Twick on the perception check. Um, yeah, so you don't really feel like there's anything on the door. What you do notice looking at this door that is that unlike most of the other doors you've seen so far, this one is different. It is engraved with a large image of a flaming trident. Um, uh, if you'd like to make a culture check, you can do that now. Uh-huh. 18, uh, 15 for Lisk. Um, what else we got here? Uh, 25 is. for Luna. There we go. Luna, you would recognize this symbol as some sort of heraldry. Like maybe a noble or a noble family in the Aslanti Star Empire. Um, you get the sense that maybe this is like a ch like chambers, but you're not uh, certain. This is uh, maybe... Zolan Vestra. Maybe. I didn't know that, though, would I? You would not. Should I open it? Yeah, give it a push. Okay. No, Pop no, the door open. Blow. This large chamber appears to have been a luxurious accommodation for a single occupant, with a single large bunk in the northwest and a desk of smooth metal to the east. Standing upright near the desk is a trident. The trident is perfectly balanced on the end of its haft and glows with white flame. Not that. Also, in the room, you see something else. You see this boy. No. <laughs> Along oh. the spikes. Why? There's like a fucking tank man. <laughs> That's not fair. Would you like to describe him, Liz? arms. I yeah. He's got fucking. He's a tank. He's got tank legs. He's got fucking treads. He's got four arms. <laughs> one of which is a gun. Another yeah. one of which is Wolverine claws. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Zol robot. He's got a jet booster on the back too. Yeah, or a, a muffler. <laughs> Maybe he's got. Yeah, muffler. Muffler. It does muffler look like is, a muffler. Yeah. Gonna hit the nos, yeah. Um, this robot sits across the room from you and currently has no lights on. Oh, good. Ooh. Huh. Already dead. Um, you want to sneak up and make sure it's off? Do you know what off? that is? Do you want to, like, uh, is there a knowledge or something we can, do we know? I can scan it real quick thing. before Lisk goes Oh, that's me. a good idea. That is a great idea. You can idea. scan it. All right, it's a 30. Go okay. hack it and make it on our side. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you scan it. Uh, you would know that this is a construct, a magical construct. It is called um, a an adjutant robot, an Islanti adjutant robot. Yeah. Um, one specific thing you would notice with your scan with this robot is that, well, a couple things. First off, it does have a gun that appears to be attached to one of its arms, um, but it, it also has... In the middle of its head, a bright stone uh, mm. that currently is the only thing that is lit, and you believe it is an iridescent spindle Aeon stone. Mm. Interesting. Uh, do I know if it's powered? It appears powered down at the moment. But nice. you don't, from that scan, um, you would you would know that like these robots are meant to turn on and off. Uh, Ajudan robots yeah. are like uh, they're essentially um, assistants for busy officers, and mm -hmm. they do tasks like cleaning the room. And actually, when you're looking in this room, you would notice it is sparkling clean. There is mm, not a speck of, of dust in this has a gun multi, a multi, multi, hand. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hundreds of years, century old starship. Not a speck of dust in this room. All right, resistances. Um, resistances, uh, anything for constructs, um, that's pretty much it. Okay, so not like DR? Not the, no, no, not DR. 
I will. Let's go sneak in as best we can. <laughs> okay. Third pressure plate. Step in the room. <laughs> okay, that's not great. It's a 24 to stealth. Okay. Uh, do you step in the room? Yeah. <laughs> um, nothing happens. <laughs> yeah. <Gosh. laughs> Maybe at all? Check the floor. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just gonna go square by square. So unless you're gonna stop me, <laughs> uh, with that step, okay. You see the light of the Aeon Stone inside of the head of this robot light up. You see blue lines spin from the Aeon Stone that goes down the construct's body. Its arms begin to spread out. All of the blue light passes along its arms over to the weapons. You see the weapon power up. You see the robot stand from its sort of squatting position to about ten feet tall. And you see its arms spread wide, and it looks directly at you. And we're going to leave it right there. No, Lisk. <laughs> I'm going to die. No! Rip. Rip in pieces, as they say. I think they say rip, rip in pepperonis. I think that's rip in pepperonis. Never forget any oh. rest in spaghetti. You're at full health and stamina. You're fine. <laughs> I yeah, don't know, man. Except his full health and stamina is like way less than your yeah. full health and stamina. And sometimes Aaron pulls Not out like, oh, less. they did minimum damage, so that's only a 30. And it's like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I died. It's only most of your yeah. health with minimum damage. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so and I they rolled a 4. I guess that's only a 23 to hit you. It's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I try to stack as much AC as possible in my character, and everything goes through it anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> I try not to say what I rolled, because their bonuses are so freaking high in this AP They're that it so just big. seems unfair. What the heck? I mean, literally, yeah. the first people you faced had a plus six to ranged attack. Yeah, that's, that's pretty wild. Right, right, right. It's better than my plus one. Yeah, <laughs> a little exactly. bit. Exactly. That's, that's literally like a soldier with max dex has a plus six. I mean, if, you, six. Yeah. if yeah. you think about it, like, they are soldiers. They've been training for this their entire lives, so it makes sense that they'd shoot better than you. But sure, but we have to fight like, like 20 high. of them. <laughs> I know. We gotta fight like five of them a day. I know. What about the Hobgars? They, they ain't no soldiers. Um, yeah. They actually didn't have a really big bonus. They just rolled really uh -oh. well. I guess rolled I have, really a, have well. a bonus of six normally. Now. Before it was only four, three, only three. Man, I I'm, I'm really excited for you guys to get to the point where um, you're not just basically dying every fight. Can we can we get can we get there? That'd be okay. It took us a I long don't... time to get there in second edition. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> long yeah, second, time. To be fair, our, well, I guess our party here is a little similar, huh? Kinda, yeah. Very comp, similar, actually. Your comp is very weird. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it like makes sense for Starfinder if you're like able to always fight at range, but what you happen to be fighting most of the time doesn't want to fight at range. There's a lot of natural attacks. It's a lot of up in your face with a melee weapon, yeah. tight corridors. You know, if we were playing a different campaign, it might be in a slightly better scenario. We but, so we've only gotten the thousand and the starting gold, right? We didn't get anything else. Correct. No. Okay. So poor. I can fix my stuff. Yeah. I think your your thing should show you value, right? What your total worth is. Oh, that's what that. Including, okay, wait. Including all your items. I was reading that as wealth. credits, but credits wealth is your wealth. Yeah. Wealth is all of your items. Everything. And okay, your credits. that's confusing. Agreed. Man. <sighs> Whoo! I should have one thousand. Eight credits. One thousand some odd credits. Eight. Eight. I did eight good, guys. Over. Look at you. Maybe, uh, maybe you can survive the rest of this ship. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Who knows how long it is, really? I mean, there could be another 40 rooms you gotta go through. Well, Based on the size of the map, 40 seems a little high. If it's 40, we'll, just, we'll leave, dude. Bit. Our ship is, like, right outside. <laughs> True. We can just uh, go yeah. home. I mean, <laughs> I'm leave. We... We we do have like the small hook. Sedona is apparently our friend. Yeah, collectively, she is your friend, and we are are interested in seeing if we can't figure out what happened to her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is. But as all four decided, of us are going to die. 
I've been informed I should care about Sedona, so I yes. guess we'll go. Wait, That's... who informed you of that? You. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I read. I read a uh, um, one of the guys on uh, RPG, one of the RPG subreddits. He was talking about how his group, like they were playing, and then like level three, they found out that the price of sheep they could sell for so high that they just stopped oh, yeah. playing the AP and created a sheep farm. Mm -hmm. And he had to like build an entire campaign for them to figure out how to commerce their way through a sheep farm. So please don't do that with the bugs. I mean, That'd be well, great. Yeah, sounds like we're starting a bug farm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you don't know what the bugs do for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they heal will. at least sometimes. <laughs> at least sometimes good enough for me. I really wish Alex would have rolled a different number, but... I have a <laughs> testimonial, and we're just going to slap that on the product page <laughs> and start selling Usually them. a testimonial oh, from the one. seller doesn't, you know, carry much weight. No, he's, yeah. he's just a bad <laughs> investor. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna sell them. I'm gonna be like the mm. testimonial guy. Mm. <laughs> but really, if you trace the capitalism yeah. all the way backwards, yeah. the investigative <laughs> journalist will be like, "Wait a second. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, please tell me. Has anybody ever listened to Michael Barbaro? Because I, I did that thinking at least someone here would know who that is. I have heard oh. some okay. stuff. Oh. All right, all right. Yeah, You've at least sent me some. I didn't. I couldn't name it, but I knew okay. like the, what you were going for. I may have to try with a different group and see how that goes. Oh, a different you group. Was that one of the characters? Say what? Was that one of the characters? No, uh, I made up Fikel Barbaro. He is Michael Barbaro's or Fikel Tartaro, I think his name is. He's Michael Barbaro's alter ego in the Pact Worlds. He's. The podcast Michael, guy from like the Daily or whatever. Yeah, he, he does the okay. Daily, which is the New York Times like thirty minute that a podcast. Times. If you'd have done like the This American Life guy, I got it. He's really oh, hard to voice. Glass. I tried, but he's like, he's it's so <laughs> yeah, hard to get glass. his his tempo and his tenor. And, like, yeah, forget it. And I don't really know what I think of, but you know what? He's like, he's very flowy. He's fun. I don't know. I can't. I can't do him. So half the. Uh, the newscast was like stuff that we've seen. The other half was stuff that our other Starfinder group has seen. Nice. It's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. I was oh, gonna yeah. say, did we know what that first, uh, the first half of that was? Two of us do. In character, or out, <laughs> of, or out, out of character, character nah. In yeah, character, like no. in character. Um, you okay. guys in character would actually know that there was a rock that showed up with us with the spaceship outside of Absalom Station in the Pact Worlds. You would have gotten that information on your ship while you were traveling to Macondas, but that's basically all you would have known about it. Yeah. Alex asked me the other day, he's like, so uh can we like uh can we like talk about like the meta stuff between <laughs> like the campaign? It's like is that okay or Because uh... <laughs> it's like I'm sure it besides me and Caleb, nobody else knows that that's like a reference to something, so Yep. That's that's all it is. I mean I did I listened to the first few episodes of Androids and Aliens. Yeah. And they run that. Yep. They they yeah. do run that. Yes. Yeah. I've listened to the first book. <laughs> yeah, Long which is why I had decided he to, was running dead sons. To rewrite a portion of it so that Caleb wouldn't know exactly what was happening in book one. I don't remember most of it at this point. Yeah, it's been so long yeah. since a we lot of stuff happened in we that campaign. It. Yeah, it's a uh, a lot goes on. I mean, we're, we're over to listen here. to it someday. Fucking dying in some jungle world for no yeah. reason. I like how uh, Caleb had like a fun podcast he could listen to, and then you were was, like, no it longer. Was, it's probably the most enjoyable podcast I've listened to. Oh no! Of like it's any, really good. Oh man! And you were like, don't it was listen. Really to fun. I asked him for what it's worth. I said, would you be okay if I did this campaign if you stopped listening to it? And he's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was before right. I thought it was gonna be like two uh, years until we started playing. Well, I, it's and not like I knew that COVID was a thing the first at that book. time. This is this, this is November of 2019. We thought this was just like a nothing disease overseas. Mm. Disease overseas. Overseas disease, you might say. Overseas disease. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, we'll be back next week. You guys can see if you can work your way through the rest of the ship. Maybe figure out what happened to Sedona. Make some new plants. Hopefully, yeah. which one died to a robot. Hopefully, yes. Yep. Hopefully, she Hopefully won't we won't have a too. technical issue. <laughs> I believe in us, Alex. I believe. That was a weird technical issue. I don't even know how you could expect that one. So, mm -hmm. whatever. We'll see you next time. <laughs>